You can't buy hot pockets. You can only buy cold pockets. You're expected to supply the heat yourself. Don't believe the lies. You know, that's a very, very valid point. Or I guess not point. I don't think there's a point here, but you know what I mean, right? It's a lie. Fort Myers man arrested after disrespectfully consuming key lime pie. How disrespectfully are we talking? <laughs> this is an important detail of this story. Arby's has flipped the vegan meat trend on its head with the vegetable, a carrot made out of turkey that looks and tastes almost exactly like the vegetable. Man, people will do anything to make veganism look incredibly stupid, won't they? I'm here for it. This is ridiculous. That seems so disgusting, though. <laughs> Raccoons are saddle-breaking feral hogs and riding them into battle against the possums. The media probably won't cover this, but our slash trash pandas will. We can always count on them for the important stuff. I want to move to New Jersey. Whoa, I'm sorry, that one, it took a second, but it just hit me like a ton of bricks. What? You sure? People who just randomly meet band members on the street, how do you do it? Step one. Go outside for once. Oh. But the outer net is scary. The outer net. Me. Good night, darling. I'm so happy to be able to fall asleep next to you, my girlfriend, already rotating like a kebab to ensure maximum duvet theft. Duvet? Why did I say it like that? Who cares? Pete Davidson. He looks like hype beast Nosferatu. I gotta say, Pete, that is not the most flattering picture of you. Although, why would you care? If, I think we're all dating Pete Davidson right now anyway. So what does it matter? Do you know this person? We're looking for help identifying this serial bread sitter. This has been an ongoing problem since March. Despite repeated attempts to stop this person, it seems like it keeps happening. I don't know why I added that to the sentence. It's not in there. Police are now involved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But if you do that, you're a bitch. And no, I don't mean that as like a derogatory term for women or anything like that, because anybody can be a bitch. You know what I'm saying? This woman just so happens to be acting like, well, who the fuck sits on bread? Nasty ass. Microdosing bondage by wearing overalls. That's a, that's a way to start. I went to the bar in my scrubs last night, and this dude paid for my tab because he thought I was a nurse during a pandemic. Sir, I laser booty holes for a living. So you're still an essential worker. What's the deal here? What do you, what? Since whales are milk producing mammals, you could hypothetically make whale cheese. Whale milk has a very thick consistency. The milk's almost solid. The thickness is attributed to the high fat concentration that can reach up to 50% fat in some whale species. The consistency and texture of the whale milk are compared to that of toothpaste. Basically, whales already make something close to cheese anyway. Imagine sucking a and Gorgonzola comes out. Oh, dude, that is just so gross. Everything I just read is so traumatically gross. I like cheese, but now I like it a little less because of what I just had to read. If you're laid up with your girl in a 40, 41 to 135 degree room and she starts multiplying rapidly, that bitch is a foodborne pathogen. Stay woke. I mean, I'll try. I work in a pet store. Uh, wait, what? Target we tails? Okay, but you work in a pet store. Never mind. A woman was looking at our betas and asked me whether one was male or female. I told her that they were all male because they are. Our company only orders male betas. She looked at me incredulously and pointed at one and asked, even this one? I was like, yes, why? It's pink, though. Why is the male fish pink? I swear she was borderline angry at me. I didn't know how to explain that fish genetics don't adhere to human gender roles. But pink for a girl. If boy have pink, boy gay. Pinocchio could tell us so much about the universe. He could randomly claim things like the Big Bang happened and his nose would confirm or deny our theories. Pinocchio's not omniscient, you stupid freaking Redditors. His nose grows when he's intentionally being dishonest. Things heating up in the Pinocchio fandom. I mean, middle guy is a little aggro, but he's right. They're right, I'm sorry, man. Pinocchio isn't some magic eight ball for the universe. He's just a little wooden dude. Hippos are just ambush predators on a juice cleanse. That's why they're so freaking angry. I painted a picture of our Lord and Savior, Jesus J. Christ. Jesus J. Christ? The, <laughs> that J stands for Jesus as well, so it's, it's just Jesus, Jesus Christ. Passionately chowing down on a deluxe hot dog with all the fixins. I want $500 for it, and I'm not willing to go down on that price. I mean, I'll be honest with you, 500 bucks ain't bad for something of this caliber. That feels like a steal? I'll be like 40 with no kids, and people will say, oh, I'm so sorry for you. And I'll be like, how was the freaking Wiggles reunion tour, asshole? I went to Italy last week for fun and didn't have to hire a sitter. This is a very sad mentality. To think oneself more important than that of progeny is the sign of a failed human life. So the Wiggles concert wasn't as good as you thought it would be, huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude, if I ever get the chance to go to a Wiggles 18 plus show, I will do it. I mean, it's not like 18 plus for the reasons you immediately think. They just, they could, they could be naughty sometimes, okay? I would go. The Wiggles kick ass, all right? I'm never gonna have kids, but I'll go to the Wiggles concert with you, dude. A lesbian penguin couple finally get their own chick after they prove to staff they'll be good parents. How'd they do that? How did they pr what? Did they have to, like, take a test or something? Or, uh, what wh what was the proof here? The amount of cooch George Costanza was pulling is egregious. He's some people's type, what's wrong with that? I know at least one person off the top of my head that would be like, George, though? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's wrong with George? Are you calling Jason Alexander ugly? Because I think that's bull- It took my new cat a while to realize that kissing the top of her head was a gesture of affection. But I think she's finally got it. The downside is that now she thinks the best way to signal that she wants cuddles is to come charging at me and mash the top of her head against my face. It's like a very affectionate punch in the mouth. That's the downside? I mean, I feel like there could be a much bigger downside when it comes to cats signaling any type of affection or really anything at all. Perineum Sunning is the latest insanity wellness influencer swear by. Sun God Ra cradling a coffee cup in both hands as he stares down at a chorus line of taints. They used to build statues of me. So what's the health benefit of uh, sun bleaching your b-hole? Someone want to explain that one to me? The ratio of dog to boy stayed constant. Nothing wrong with that. Can't believe as a kid I used to fall asleep unassisted. No melatonin, no CBD, just me and my eyelids raw dogging it. Yeah, I will say it's quite impressive. What the hell happens when you get to a certain age, man? It's like God rolls a die, like an infinity sided die, right? To sort of determine how your sleep is going to be affected for the remainder of your life. And then sometimes he does it again and again and again. I said he again. Sometimes God does it again and again and again, forever, until you die. Mario Kart's the closer to first place you are, the less useful power-ups you get system, is an ideal model for how our economy should work. Whoa. I read this out loud to my boyfriend, and he just went, oh, ho, ho, that's brilliant. Blue shell the 1%. Yeah, I don't think Jeff Bezos needs the bullet bill. Okay? Knock it off. For the record, homosexuality has been found in over 350 species, with the gayest animal being the giraffe. I don't even need a source for that. I can agree. The giraffe is definitely the gayest. Do you think they screw donuts to make the holes? Have you ever been so isolated and depressed that every consecutive moment felt heavier than the last? As if gravity was increasing exponentially and you knew there would never be any release? <laughs> Hello, former professional baker here. The answer to both questions is yes. Krispy Kreme just got a lot better. If I die after I pay my rent, sit me on the couch till the 30th. I mean, yeah, come on, they paid. Trying not to slap the bags of rice at supermarkets like. Why are there 5,000 people on this site holding back from doing something with literally zero repercussions for anyone in a world that will never remember the chances you didn't take? Don't waste your time on this earth. Live your life, slap some rice, and hey, make sure you do it to the dirt too, all right? This is a screwed up and irresponsible amount of cranberry sauce. I mean, it feels normal enough to me. Looking at that image though, I just feel so much pain. As someone who keeps a clean house, oh, that's so painful. You know the sex was good when the goosebumps on your d won't go away a whole month later. <laughs> yeah. Um, hang on. A lady at the airport brought her own personal tube of mayonnaise. I've yassified her to maintain anonymity, but she's my hero. Well, thank goodness you anonymized her, but still a little weird. Maybe just let people live their lives without you needing to use them for clout, because that's... Never mind. So today I found out that I'm allowed to carry a knife with me to school as long as it's smaller than three and a half inches, but I still can't show my shoulders. And if that's not a perfect description of American schooling, I don't know what is. Cover your shoulders with knives. Shoulder blades. I'm at a 70s-themed cat funeral. That sentence has so much to unpack. What is a 70s-themed cat funeral? A funeral for a dead cat that happens to be 70s-themed. I'm sorry for whoever lost their cat, but good on them for still having a fun funeral. It's a bop, honestly. The cat died four years ago, so the grieving is over. The whole situation just keeps getting weirder. It's been in his freezer for four years. What? I'll second that. What? Ever realized how freaking surreal reading a book actually is? You stare at marked slices of tree for hours on end, hallucinating vividly, provided you can actually have those little vivid hallucinations. Today I learned that drinking a four-ounce shot of vanilla extract is equivalent to doing four shots of vodka. Can't imagine how someone would stomach that much vanilla without vomiting. I did it once. Honestly, the worst part was my horrible diarrhea the next day smelled delicious. Oh, don't talk like that. Ugh. Also, vanilla extract is a lot more expensive than vodka. Just buy vodka, man. Do some shots of stuff that's meant to be shot. <laughs> 
or mixed, please. They're filming something downtown set in the 50s, because all the cars were replaced with old cars and crap, right? So my high ass walked on set, and some white dude in a three-piece suit told me I had to leave, and for a second there I thought I'd smoked myself back into segregation. Jeez, how did you wander onto a set like that, man? Ugh. All right, what a spider looks like inside a glass of cola. What a spider looks like inside a glass of water. Cola drinkers are 100% more likely to accidentally swallow a sneaky spider that's the same color as their arachnid-hued dirt juice. Dirt juice? That's coffee. I mean, it's technically bean juice, but why is cola dirt juice? No, really, I want to know. I like picking out parts of these memes that aren't really the point, you know? I, I, I gotta figure this out. Kurt Cobain would have been 56 today. Do you think he would have become a hysterical gigavax sh** lib? Or would he be talking about how the Zoomers had gone soft and could never grunge now because of gay frog water on Infowars? You know? I honestly don't know. But knowing how awesome Dave Grohl is, I can guarantee you Kurt would have turned out just fine. If he were still around, and he and Dave were still best buds, he'd be just fine. Okay, because after what Dave Grohl did the other day, where he showed up with his big-ass barbecue smoker and spent like 16 hours feeding the homeless in Los Angeles, and the only reason we know is because a bunch of people decided to make that go viral. It wasn't his choice. Yeah, I think Kurt would have been just goddamn fine. Do you think that Burger King and Dairy Queen screw sometimes? Well, let's think about this somewhat rationally for just a moment. Or at least do our best, right? No. <laughs> I mean, I mean... Think about it. They're buildings. <laughs> How are they gonna do that? Actually, now that I think about it, I remember the Dairy Queen mascot being a big mouth. Just a big pair of juicy lips, right? People in other countries may not realize that, but some of those old Dairy Queen commercials, it's just a giant mouth, dude. And the king is a king, so... I'm an ex-banker. Genderless dragon. Now my son won't talk to me. Look, live your life and all, but when you change like that? I don't think it's that your son hates you, he might just be scared. Ugh. Florida men, one disguised in bull costume, allegedly tried to burn down ex-boyfriend's home with spaghetti sauce? How are you gonna burn anything down with spaghetti sauce? I think you'll have a better time trying to use like Mountain Dew or something than spaghetti sauce, dude. Sorry, you heard that can opening? That is just Mellow Yellow, chill. Heck, there you go. You could probably burn down a house with Mellow Yellow better than that. I befriended a crow today, and I don't need any of you anymore. I can't wait to live in the woods. I can't wait to have antlers and only speak in clicks and whistles and watch you all die in your cities. No, he's right though. Befriending a crow? You don't need anything else in life. They'll all remember you. They'll all like you. Heck, they might just start bringing you stuff, okay? You're the crow man. I saw a recipe for oat risotto. Is it risotto or risotto? Doesn't matter. And honestly, it looked terrific, but also, sir, that is oatmeal. As a society, we all just need to be way more okay about the fact that porridge is a spectrum. A lot of things are. I never would have thought about porridge. You ever read Goldilocks? You know, where she ate the... whatever. My tarantula has never felt the touch of a man before, yet she's laying eggs. I didn't know they could lay unfertilized eggs. What do I do? Phrasing of this has taken me out. My tarantula, virginal as the Mother Mary has given birth. Is this the second coming? If Jesus is coming back as a tarantula, we might need to be on the lookout a little bit better than we have been the last 2,000 years. Know what I mean? There really needs to be an honest-to-God communist in this race, for contrast, if nothing else. Political discourse has shifted right so much in the last 50 years, people really think a Vermont grandpa who wants people's lives to be slightly less sh** is Joseph Stalin. Why did I say Joseph Stalin? Isn't it Joseph? I'm a moron. And you know what? That's A-OK. -okay, Cause that's why you're here. So get subscribed, stick around, make fun of me. <laughs> it's what you're here for, right? Right? Jesus cured two blind people. Mr. Beast cured a thousand blind people. Jesus fed 5,000 people. Mr. Beast fed 10,000 people in his Thanksgiving 2021 video alone and thousands more in other projects. Jesus, 12 followers. Mr. Beast, 130 million followers. You see, Mr. Beast clears Jesus by every stat. We haven't seen Mr. Beast walk on water just yet, though. Also, is this going to end with us crucifying Mr. Beast? Is history just going to repeat itself here? I'm actually kind of worried about that. Cracking my erect penis like a glow stick to find my way in the darkness. You gotta be careful of when you do that, though, because you can only do it once. And then once it heals again, the glow liquid's spent. You can't get it back in. Me? Where'd you park? Wife? Next to the car that looks like a suspicious stoned vampire. What? That was a very goofy-looking car, man, I gotta say. U.S. elevation. Pretty neat. Imagine living somewhere without mountains. Like it's all flat? Get on a step stool and see the whole state. As someone that lives in the Colorado Springs area, it's quite funny looking out the window, seeing Pikes Peak, and then knowing that if I drive, like... 
27 hours the other direction, it's all flat and there's really nothing there. Male sex robots with unstoppable bionic penises are coming this year. What's an unstoppable penis? What does that mean? I'm a little worried. Suspicious object leads police to shut down State Street. But it was just a can of Chef Boyardee on wheels. Doing the, doing the good work there, guys. In the 1950s, babies were born smoking cigarettes and drinking Cadillac grease. And they were strong. A spoiled brat brand flakes baby of today, with its GPS glands and its lossless audio files, would be crushed underfoot by a majestic baby of olden times gone by. You're right. You're right. What are we doing? We're lying to ourselves. That's what we're doing. Everyone say thank you to the nice artists and animators that listened to criticism and fixed their mistakes. I don't think it was the artists and animators that did. They probably got really pissed off they had to animate that before picture anyway. I believe it was the director or some of the producers that went, oh, good God, okay, all right, fine, Jesus, and then fixed it. Although, in bullying this studio into doing what we wanted, which, by the way, I think the product turned out super good. I like the Sonic movies, by the way. I like them a lot. I love them, dare I say. It just sucks that, didn't they go out of business? Didn't all those hardworking animators and artists, like, have to go find jobs elsewhere? Or maybe they haven't found any yet? I'm sure most of them, if not every single one of them, found a different place to go. But yeah, didn't that studio have to shut down because of this? It's not our fault, but come on. I still can't believe y'all cyberbullied an entire studio. And it worked. Highly intelligent and possibly invincible super pigs are invading America. Look, let the rednecks get on them, okay? If they want to call themselves possibly invincible, there's a lot of guys out there with weapons in their trucks that are willing to really put that phrase to the test. I know there are. They're itching for it. Ha 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 ha. Good team. I don't speak Nintendo. Well, I don't speak McDonald's. It looks like you do, though. I think you lost your joke. Unfortunately. Can't even argue. The nipple tip is better. The nipple tip make me feel like I'm sucking Gatorade straight from the d of the gator. I will admit there's something about that nipple tip, dude. It's not like that guy says, but there's something about it. It's more satisfying. Is that an evolutionary thing? Are we insane? Drive-in church worship guide. Honking. Preach it, amen, right on. I'm just going to assume this is how church works in the Cars universe. Ah, yes. When Pontiac Pilate had Car Jesus crucified and he drove out of the tomb three days later with a fresh coat of paint and an oil change, Blessed be me. Yea, look upon me and know me. Gotta apologize to male authors because I just walked down the stairs and it turns out my chest did actually breast boobily. Well, thank you. Gays are using windmills to waft homosexual myths into your home. Who told? I think it was Dave. Dave, you're no longer allowed to be gay. What the hell, man? I need to be like him. Just absolutely blissed out in the slop. This may be my favorite one. I absolutely adore that term. Blissed out in the slop. That's gonna be me later today. Happy pride from my cleaning lady. Hi, Mr. Justin. I just finished your house. Great, thanks. I clean extra good and leave you some treats. Thank you. My son says it's the month your people celebrate being fancy. <laughs> Pride? Yes, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> oh, give her a raise, please. I already named my switchblade Stabatha, but what's a good name for a sword? Slashly. Slashly. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. How the hell does Dawn Soap clean oil off a duck, but not the spaghetti bowl? Mmm, skitty bowl not made a duck. That is true. That is true. I do hate plastic containers for that exact reason. You put buschetti in it one time, and it's always gonna look nasty. Good morning, ladies and the other gender that betrayed Jesus. Good morning to you, snake language translator, the forbidden fruit eater, Samson's hair cutter, John the Baptist, head on the platter requester, Joseph's seducer. Hope you had a sound sleep. I feel like the Australian accent is like a Texan accent for a British accent. You know, I, I said something to this effect to one of our beloved employees at Slazo Media, and um, they stopped talking to me for a little while. Woman married to Eiffel Tower got divorced because she's now in love with a fence. To be fair, the fence is probably easier to have a relationship with than the Eiffel Tower, right? Is the Y chromosome vanishing? A new sex gene might be on its way. What? Y'all, my mouse got an ultrasound, and they had to blow dry the ultrasound goo off her, and she was in heaven. Oh man, I don't know why. Just an ultrasound for a little mouse. That's an image. Is maple the only kind of tree that has delicious blood, or are we missing out on the other ones? Oh, we're definitely missing out on the other ones. Those trees have delicious juice. Give me tree juice. 
Some men use maxi pads for excess gooch grease. You ever say those words again, and I swear to God, I will become a criminal. Happy Pride from the trans-affirming misogynist parrot. I bite women. Only handle me if you're a man. Well, I love that bands still pretend to leave before their encore. Like peekaboo for adults. I mean, come on, it's all part of the theater. We love it. You know we love it. Fellas, is it gay to have, uh, a pelvis? Is there any reason why Nintendo gave Link a vagina bones? I feel like this guy's just jealous that Link is way more fit than he is. You wish you had that V-line, you know you do. The word poop is a million times more profane than the word shit. When referring to feces, people seem to think shit is profanity, while the most disgusting word in the English language, poop, is the kid-friendly version suitable for public use. The word poop is onomatopoeic. Speaking the word requires fixing your lips like a puckering asshole and squeezing the word out like a fat turd before returning to the shape of a butthole. It is the sound and shape of an ass squeezing out a dump. I shudder when I hear it, especially if there's an added bubble pop of a syllable as the ass mouth returns to form. The word sh is clean and precise. It's over as soon as it begins. It starts softly and finishes quickly. It's like the fluttering of a wing. Stop saying poop like it's not a bad word and start saying Shit. This guy may be onto something here. One time my mom made me wash my hands at the bowling alley before I could share the plate of nachos. She said, I don't know where your hands have been. I panicked because my 12-year-old horny self thought there were cameras in the bathroom that I had just pleasured myself in. Years later, I asked her about it, and she just meant because we were bowling and you had to put your fingers in the public balls. Yes, bowling alleys aren't exactly bastions of cleanliness. Artists screw better because we turn sex into art. Masterpieces, mattresses become canvases where we paint our love to someone with bodies. It's like impossible to come up with anything funnier than the experience of seeing this post. Pharaohs screw better because they, ah, uh, put the p in a, in a what? This is the most cursed plane I've ever been on. The engine heater iced over, so we had to stop in Salt Lake City for two hours while they changed it, and we just got back on, and a life raft in the back suddenly exploded and hit a gay flight attendant in the head. Mmm. I think that plane should be taken out of service. If anything like that happened where I have to stop because something, even if it's not pertinent to the plane flying, is having some trouble, I'm not getting back on that plane. It's not gonna happen. Watching any movie in the early 2000s, the hot chick main character always had absolutely no ass. Funny how beauty standards change. Just rewatched Freddy vs. Jason and can confirm the rampant asslessness of the 2000s. For weeks, my parents have been at war against a very resourceful rat, and I've been begging them to call a pest control guy. But no, my dad would rather balance a banana on a 2x4 over a garbage can full of water like a f***ing cartoon cat. Honestly, this could work. Also, have you never seen Mouse Hunt? You remember what happened to the pest control guy in that one? Yeah, come on. Your dad's got the right idea, I'd say. Teachers seized disco equipment from 12-year-old boy who hosted rave in the school toilets. Was it any good? Teaching sex ed in school will only make kids want to have sex. Yeah, right. I had math in school, and it really made me want to math hard all the time. I was adopted and recently found my birth mom. And it's weird as hell how much we have in common, despite me being raised entirely separate and different from her. You're going to want to screw her. Look up genetic sexual attraction. Although most sources say it's anecdotal, I legitimately know of two instances of it happening. What the f***, dude? Yeah, who just says that? Yeah, I found my birth mom. It's super strange. What an interesting phenomena has occurred. Check this out. You're gonna want to screw your mother. Are you projecting? Without constraints, the Roomba will eventually figure out the easiest way to keep the room clean. Well, is to kill the humans that make it dirty. Hot dogs aren't sandwiches, they're tacos. I don't make the rules. This implies that a slice of pizza is toast, and a slice of stuffed crust pizza is a calzone attached to toast. It also implies that a Big Mac is a cake. My son is 3% blueberries. He weighs 25 pounds and just ate an entire pint of blueberries, which weighs about 3 quarter pounds. Therefore, my son is 3% blueberries in weight. Edit. I just realized I'd have to eat almost 5.5 pounds of blueberries to achieve the same corporeal concentration of blueberries. That's awesome! My favorite college memory was accidentally skipping class on the first Monday of deer season freshman year because I legitimately thought that was a national holiday that meant no school and didn't realize I just went to a yeehaw high school. Yeah, yeah. What are your adjectives? You mean my pronouns? No, I already know your pronouns. What are your adjectives? 
I, I don't know, what are yours? Noisy and chaotic. I've never had something go from making no sense to complete sense so fast. I only have one adjective, stupid. Having size 9 shoes on paper, completely normal. Literally the average women's size in the USA. Having size 9 shoes at the store? Greetings, Amazonian giantess. We keep your enormous clodhoppers in the shed out back, lest they frighten the villagers. Having a size 10 men's really sucks because they're always goddamn sold out no matter what. The word daddy has been so sexualized that my kids are gonna have to call me bra or some sh**. Yeah, that's been an unfortunate development. Don't be boring with your midlife crisis and buy a sports car. Go hard. Learn magic. Lease a falcon. Start a cult. Are people worried about you? Sure! But are they also a little curious? Yeah, man, sign them up for the cult. You gotta make those falcon payments. How expensive is a falcon? Killer whales learn to sink yachts off Gibraltar. Hell-bent on revenge after being hit by a boat, an orca named Gladys is now teaching others to attack, researchers believe. A vengeful killer whale called Gladys is teaching gangs of orcas to attack yachts around Gibraltar and has already struck three boats, sinking two of them. Yeah? I watched a video of, I think, this exact pod of orcas, or whatever their groups are called, going straight for the rudders and ripping them off. Jenna Ortega, seen smoking a cigarette, has fans in an uproar. She's literally a 20-year-old teenager. Isn't it illegal for teens to smoke? Literally a 20-year-old teenager. Now let's think about this for one second. What's the requirement in terms of age? What's the requirement for you to be a teenager? Probably a number in the teens, you know, 13, 14, 15, all the way up to 19. Now, after 19, what happens? Oh right, teen is no longer there. Huh, wild. She's a grown ass woman, shut the shit up. Being medium ugly is lit. Like people have to like you for you, but then some chicks think you really fine. But you ugly enough to keep yourself humble. Smooth sailing. I can agree with that. Bro, he imagined himself buff, muscular as hell, but still made her a snow chungus. What kind of agenda were they pushing? Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. I went to Sky Zone. They gave me these socks for grip on the trampoline. I took them socks home and now now they're my f**k socks. Mad grip. Be f**king bitches with both feet on the walls. I'm curious. I need to... I have to see a diagram of this in action. Mafia drops ban on homosexuality after discovering mob boss's son is a fabulous drag queen. Game recognized game. There's two sides to every story. So I was having a mental breakdown in my school's bathroom, but someone decided to take a violent crap in the next stall. Please enjoy. Guys, there's a girl sobbing in the bathroom stall next to me and I have to take a record-breaking crap. I feel so bad. I'm gonna ruin her teen movie coming-of-age turning point moment. What the hell is sound? of this giant sh**. What a fantastic story. Had a child today order Just Ranch. I didn't know what to do, so I gave him a bowl of ranch and watched him eat it like soup. That was your canon event. Fertility doctor accused of using own sperm dies in crash of hand-built plane. What? Authorities say a New York fertility doctor who was accused of using his own sperm to impregnate several patients has died in a plane crash. Uh, oh no. Shame. Al Pacino's 29-year-old eight-month pregnant girlfriend has dated him, Mick Jagger, and Clint Eastwood. She's collecting old man I'm like Infinity Stones. Does she have kids with all of them? Or was she just kind of like going through until, you know, it worked? I'm just... <laughs> She is going through the Infinity Stones here. Bullying will enter a golden age in 10 years. Imagine middle school with the son of a breastfeeding influencer having HD footage of him sucking on his mom's huge bazongas. Am I high? Or are Amy Schumer and Angelina Jolie watching these two dudes sue each other over Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I don't know about Angelina Jolie. That does look like her, but that is 100% Amy Schumer. D uh, guaranteed. Sick of all this gender neutral stuff. Switching to gender evil. Me? Marx didn't predict I'd use Adderall to respond to texts. <laughs> Scholars QT of page 651 of Capital. The pained worker inevitably resorts to illegal co for his most fundamental social tasks. Oh, oh, I see. Whoever engineered chest binders is a genius. I mean, how the hell do you reduce a half a gallon worth of titties to a landscape that will make Kansas jealous? I'm utterly astonished by this technology. Does it hurt? I would imagine at a certain point it's gonna be kind of uncomfortable, right? Just a bit? Or incredibly? Not saying anything bad about binders, I've just always been curious, you know, does that really hurt you? Because I feel like it can and it does. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Norwegian butter crisis of 2011 just confuses my damn brain. Because how the actual hell does an entire country run out of butter? Did Norway just come downstairs and like, 
Well, I can't read that. I was going to explain how the butter crisis happened, but then I noticed your hilarious attempt at writing, we've run out of butter. I'm not sure if you know, but you basically just wrote, we drove out of the lubrication. Yeah, that's Google Translate for you, though. Lynchings in Congo as penis theft panic hits capital. What? Police in Congo have arrested 13 suspected sorcerers accused of using black magic to steal or shrink men's penises after a wave of panic and attempted lynchings triggered by the alleged witchcraft. What the hell? If you have a problem, call the cops. Then you'll have two problems. Never point a cop at anything you don't intend to kill. What a great line. A German man just came into the pub and tried to ask for cutlery, but ended up saying, I need some food weapons, and I will now be referring to them by nothing else. Hey, Netherlands, if I were to hypothetically, in a hypothetical future, walk around the Netherlands like this, would I be in much trouble socially? If you're trying to cosplay as a bisexual cowboy from a hypothetical timeline where the Wild West was in France, be my guest. I won't be offended. When the vegan milkshake tastes incredible, but nobody will try it because apparently plant-based milk is a weirder concept than bovine titty juice, just don't tell them it's vegan. Just tell them to try this awesome milkshake and see if they like it. All the best games have patch notes. Like, cows now have multiple facial expressions. Tooting the horn now correctly banishes Derek. Lasers no longer emit a cry for help when colliding with fresh fruit. Increased Trevor to nine. Scarecrows no longer steal children's shoes. Spaceship. Bees found in toilets are appropriately perfumed. The plums in the fridge now replenish faster. Spaceship. Using a spoon in a nuclear reactor no longer stops time. The Swan Man only breaks one arm per turn. This should be illegal. Making the jump button anything but the top button should be illegal. This is the most disgusting tweet I've ever seen. The orange juice after toothpaste of tweets. Ooh, ooh, that's damning. Overwatch devs actively discussing a trans hero. The Overwatch dev team looking at each other when announcing a trans hero to cover up the new massive sexually charged female employee breast milk heist? You're gonna have to run that one by me again. Excuse me? Stick a turkey leg in a sneaker and let your dog patrol your yard. I don't have a dog. There are several soldiers seen as heroes that have probably killed more people than most serial killers. Whoever said war was pretty? People who made Battlefield and Call of Duty, duh. War runs at 4K 60 FPS now, probably. Wrong! You are wrong, sir! When I bite into this free, rock-hard bread from Panera, I feel like that homeless kid from Aladdin. That homeless kid from Aladdin. I hope trans people didn't exist, because I would hope everybody to be born in the body they actually feel like they belong in. Oh, I get it, because the title looks offensive, but then the included text within the post is read. It is revealed that the post title is obviously offensive without the context not previously provided. Well done on this one, OP. Keep those absolute knee slippers. Why'd you have to say that like those weird anime characters that have to explain everything? <laughs> hey, look, being verbose is fun. People need art in their houses. They don't need Bed Bath & Beyond dentist office art. They need weird stuff. I mean, that's fair, I agree. If I had a baby, I would simply tell lies about it. Oh, your baby f***s itself? Gross. No, mine's never done that yuck. No, mine's actually the one, as foretold. Like from the prophecy. Yeah, he mostly just leads mankind and studies the blade. I don't know, man. Sounds like your baby sucks. Why call it sexual tension when you can call it bangxiety? Ooh, that's good. It's easy to have the courage of a lion. They're gigantic and have claws and no natural predators. Have the courage of the guinea pig, a two-pound meat potato with zero offensive or defensive capabilities that'll scream at an ape a hundred times its size if their lettuce is too wilty. Holy God, double king bed, too much or nah? Imagine putting on the bed sheets and the corner of the opposite end comes off, got a Uber to the other side. That's not a double king bed, that's an Alaskan king. It's like 14 feet across and costs like 20 grand, okay? I cannot stand it that all nuclear power plants do is boil water. The history of humanity is nothing but boiling water. In the future, there will be new ways to boil water and that's it. F*** it. Hey, steam's very helpful. Eating is crazy. You put food in a cavity where you mash it with 32 bones and then a meat tentacle pushes it down into a pool of acid. Come on, keep going, you're not done yet. Gays are celebrated for a full month while veterans only get a day. Something needs to change. Where's my gay discount at Cracker Barrel? And hey, no one thanks you for being gay, and the uniforms aren't quite as spiffy. I love it when dogs try to help, but the task at hand requires zero dogs, so they just kind of stand in front of you and look serious. <laughs>
<laughs> oh. New dating app idea called 7.5. Only for people who are like a strong 7, maybe an 8 on a good day. Who look kinda athletic but would probably die if they had to run a mile. Have depression, but the kind that makes you funny. Car's check engine light is on, and no one else is allowed. Alright? Well, I'm definitely not allowed because I can maybe be a 4.5 on a good day. I hate how you're born out of nowhere, forced to go to school and get a job. What if I wanted to be a duck? I mean, you can be a duck. Who is this Ben Shapiro? He's an infamous foot fetishist, primarily known for stalking AOC, and his wife's vagina holds the record for driest location in the lower 48 states. Well, who's got the driest in Hawaii and Alaska? Winter in Miami, and you know what that means. Time to receive a weather alert warning about iguanas because they get too cold and their bodies go dormant and they start falling out of trees. Huh, interesting. I've always said that cars need more foreskin. Thank God that thing is just a concept. I think I went bankrupt just looking at it. Imagine if your dad was a minotaur and your mom was a mermaid and you got the human half of both and now you're just some guy. I think you're coming out ahead at that point then, you know what I mean? It blows my mind Russia is Asia and not Europe. Because instead of jungle and tech and kawaii, it's just unhinged Germany on extreme mode. What? We are all God's children and he left us in a hot car. <laughs> More than 1,000 Dutch residents plan to throw rotten eggs at Jeff Bezos' super yacht if it ends up forcing a historic bridge to be dismantled for it to pass through. Look, personally, I think they should just do it anyway. Just do it anyway, what's the problem here? Excuse me, my good but what seems to be the <laughs> God dang it. We're all idiots and morons on a regular basis, and we hardly even know it. Everyone we gesture at dismissively saying, Look at that f***ing dumbass, is someone else saying the same thing about the next window licker down the line. The problem is, when people forget that we're all putrid sacks of rancid meat balancing on a melon of misfiring ganglionic clusters atop a wobbly pedestal, that disconnect is where the fun begins. Good lord, that was a read. This one time I ate so much salmon I could barely move. And then my mom was like, oh, have some blueberry pie for dessert. And in that moment, I understood what it's like to be a grizzly bear. Hmm, I could see that. I want nervous chair. Or groovy chair? Fun chair. People are talking about this like it's a matter of keeping yourself entertained. You'll be seeing the hat man by day eight. Oh yeah, a year in a confinement chamber for 30 billion dollars? Um, most people wouldn't be able to survive, I mean. There are two kinds of people. The ones that pack six days before a trip, and the ones that wake up day of and realize they need to do a load of laundry, and then they marry each other. I usually just pack like the night before, is that not normal? Sir, your chest hair is not an accepted form of ID. Well, why not? Huh. Sorry I've been so quiet here on social media lately. I've been living my life and took a step back from everything for a bit. I'm 15 now, and a lot has changed since that day in Walmart. Hang tight, because I got big plans for 2022. Um, who are you? Wife. Ugh, here comes Brad from work. Which one is he again? The guy that says things and you can never tell if it's a compliment or an insult. Well, 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 someone smells like muffin mix. Ooh, I hate that guy. When you're half a second away from a huge nosegasm sneeze and then your own nose gives you blue balls and the sneeze just disappears to nowhere. Nosegasm. I don't like it. One notable guy was spared. Fabian von Schlabeldudendorf, a former lawyer whose trial was scheduled for the 3rd of February 1945. However, thanks to a bombing raid-induced dislodging of a ceiling beam revoking Judge Roland Freisler's breathing license? What? and also conveniently destroying his criminal record as well. He dodged execution by the skin of his teeth and was later rescued by the Allies after the war. He would go on to become a judge. What in the hell, man? You ever pull your cardigan closed across your chest with crossed arms and suddenly feel like a sentimental widow stepping onto her beachfront porch at night, fondly remembering her past lover? <laughs> I've seen movies. Stop comparing brown women to food, you mayonnaise hued troglodyte. What in the hell is the context behind this one? Octopuses are amazing mimics. At some point, an octopus is going to stroll out of the ocean wearing glasses and cargo shorts, and we need to at least pretend to buy it. Be cool, buy them a drink, don't embarrass us in front of the cephalopods, please. Minions, what the f is it even about? And why do old people like it so much? Those yellow banana-loving squeaky f make me so unreasonably angry. 
There's an arcade game near me, which is a whack-a-mole, but with minions. I go there every time I need to vent frustration. It's fun to beat the crap out of those circumcised jaundiced penis tips. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love this guy. One of the greatest marvels of modern medicine is that they can revoke your sh privileges. Like, if you're in a bad enough shape, a doctor can decide you no longer can be trusted with an ass. They'll put a tube in your side, and that's how your plumbing will go from now on. Like, from the dawn of life as we know it, it's been an inevitable fact of nature that everyone eats and sh But on the 21st century, the doctor can just go, Yeah, no, the f you will, and then you won't. I've got a sneaky suspicion you don't get colonostomies for no reason, but maybe that's just me? You could instantly vaporize a medieval peasant by telling them the Hershey's PR team astroturfed a social media trend by making the green M&M less sexy to cover up a child slavery lawsuit. Wow. I'll be your NFT girlfriend. You can't ever touch or interact with me in real life, but if you pay me enough money, you can go around telling people I'm yours. Shut the fuck up before I open a Nature Valley bar on your bed. Oh, okay. Don't. Being an adult is inviting a friend over to cook dinner, but then they cook with your salad onion instead of your cooking onion, and you wanted to shout, No, not my salad onion! Use the cooking onion! But instead, you just smile and say, We're having a great time. Johnny, what the hell are you talking about? I want emo versions of idioms. Like, instead of you're barking up the wrong tree, it's you're panicking at the wrong disco. You can lead a horse to evanescence, but you can't bring him to life. This isn't my first black parade. It's weird how an attractive face is the criteria by which we decide whether or not to lick the area a person pees from. Now that's not the only bit. Life advice. Never say anything to a penguin that the penguin has not already said to you. This really sounds like a shit post, but I'm actually 100% serious. I was walking along the side of the harbor this evening, just after all the penguins had come in from the ocean to nest. There was one penguin right by the footpath, and when it saw me, it kept saying, uh, who? So I said it right back. It seemed to like that, and we had a lovely conversation where we just kept saying it to each other. I crouched down about two meters away, and we kept talking, and it actually moved towards me a little bit, seeming to prefer my company to the heartless embrace of the sea. But then I made the mistake of trying to change things up. I said, which was something that a previous penguin said to me, and this penguin hated it and f***ed right off. Never said another word to me. I felt so rude. One time, when I worked as a host at a fancy restaurant in L.A., Joaquin Phoenix's people called to try and book him in last minute for that night. And I said, more like, walk in, Phoenix, and then they literally hung up on me. Cool. Dog shelters. Don't buy puppies, consider adoption instead. Also dog shelters. This is Piss Fingers. She's 19 years old and can't live in a home with children, books, or electricity. Piss Fingers is nervous around here and needs 400 acres of land and an orchard of extinct fruits. OM ga 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 ga. In Minnesota right now, it's negative 15 degrees, and a truck crashed, and all of the potatoes it was hauling spilled out and are now frozen to the freeway. So now nobody can drive on the frozen potato freeway. I need to move there. People need to understand that you can lose your butthole. Your shit will come out in a pouch attached to your tummy. Your asshole will be taken away and your cheeks will be fused together. The butthole is a privilege that you can absolutely lose. So only stick butthole friendly toys up there. I understand the lesson, but why are people so obsessed with losing their assholes? I eat 15 apples for breakfast and then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backward into the drywall because they can't withstand my aura. Can't get sentences like this anywhere else, folks. Exactly. When you're a stranger, try not to hold anything personally. You may be the equivalent to Mr. Rogers or Ted Bundy. I consider all strangers to be Schrodinger serial killers. It's nothing to you personally. So we're all supposed to prepare for blizzard conditions just because the scientific establishment and the media say so? And anyone who says it will be sunny in 70 is cancelled? All I'm saying is lots of dollars changing hands in snow shovel industries. Do your own meteorology. I hate people that say it's too early to be eating that. What time do a stomach open? I never restore old tabs. If I lose them in a restart, they're gone. It is a blessing to be set free from a prison of my own creation. I know of at least five people that need to lose all their tabs right now. A uh, suspect seemed to have an insatiable desire for Tanuki. Don't let him play with Animal Crossing. I once tattooed nipples on a guy's butt cheek so his ass would look like tits. Eric Cartman? I knew a guy that got a tattoo of a dick on his dick so he could ask people, want to see my dick? And then they would usually go, no. He would follow up with, it's a tattoo, laughing. So then he'd be like, oh, okay, wait, no, no, that's just not cool. 
A snake is just a bag of throat. Holy crap, I'm gonna need to think on that one for a little bit. Ripping the little panties off of Reese's is the most erotic thing you can do. Thanks for ruining Reese's for me. The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. I heard that's actually fun. My wet ghosts are keeping me sane through the pain tonight. Good idea. Marry a blacksmith so you can get free swords whenever. Better idea. Become a miner and then marry a blacksmith so he can have the required materials for you to get free swords whenever. Now nah, you're thinking too small. Make a harem and marry a full production chain. Ah, monopoligamy. Frogs are hilarious. I mean, they're mostly just a mouth, but with just enough leg to throw the mouth at food. Yeah, but don't forget their tongue. Just want to remind people of that so we can be extremely thankful that they are not our predators. Like if, you know, if they were the size of like an elephant or a lion, you know. Look, I may have a fear of extremely giant frogs, okay? Once I pimp slapped a seagull into a cafe. Now, I thought it was a ball being thrown at me, but it was a flying gull and I instinctively batted it away and into a cafe table full of people. The chaos was unimaginable. No, I'm I'm very clearly imagining it right now, and it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just the second reaction you would have had upon whacking it and realizing upon contact that was a very feathery ball. Also, the velocity of your pimp slap would have been very very hard, considering how much effort you'd have to put into stopping a ball hitting you in the face at such high speed. The men's bathroom at the Kansas City War Memorial is one of the most unhinged pieces of architecture known to man. It comes with an array of unique features, such as a bee window, a staircase, double toilet stall, and most stalls have no locks. A real nut up or shut up type situation. Hey man, do you mind? What, this is window, I'm looking out of it. I'm allowed to look out of windows. Come on man, I can't do this when people are watching. I am a tourist! You shall let me appreciate the beauty of this city where I see fit. Uh, I, I guess if it's for the economy. Okay, Boomer, socialist e-girl, shows her two million dollar apartment. Says tax the rich only means billionaires. Yeah! The good old classic, here's the way I think the world should work unless it applies to me! I love dogs who are obsessed with licking people. This human is pleasing to me. I have to put my tongue on it. Dogs treat us like we treat cool rocks. Your relationship to rocks is apparently very different than mine. I'm also just distracted by the fact that both their usernames sound like some sort of college subjects. Advanced Procrastination 101. Surprise Dentistry. Train to be a dentist, but you never tell the patient what you're doing to them. Why do cowboys always ride off into the sunset? Wouldn't it make more sense to ride off into the sunrise? You know, so you have the day to travel? Like, bro, the sun's going down, it's getting dark, you'll have to stop and make camp in like 20 minutes because, like, I'm pretty sure your horse doesn't have headlights. Every culture invents the sword, fried dough, and fermentation. There's a basic human need to stab someone and then have beer and donuts. Someone make a religion out of this. I'd follow it. I hate when people in movies or TV are reading ancient languages and they translate everything really smoothly and poetically. Like, as if when people who study ancient languages languages aren't consulting three different commentaries and sobbing profusely when we read. Meanwhile, in a universe where movies are actually realistic. Okay, uh, so, like, it says, come you all into the deepest cavern, or maybe that's a fireplace. That depends on usage, and having come, may you give your treasure skin pants? I, I don't know, something uh, to the about-to-be-adored guy. That one who Okay, no, he either causes earthquakes or sleeps a lot. Uh, I think this might be an idiom. Okay, sorry that took so long, and I hate to disappoint, but I'm still not entirely sure what it means. Like, it could be something about a religious ceremony, or it could be a pee-pee pee joke. Leading towards a pee-pee joke. Might be both. Knowing the ancients, probably both. This could very well be an ancient pee-pee temple, and we should probably leave. Wait a minute. What's that rumbling? Oh, God. That's not rumbling. They've awoken! Standing next to sunflowers always makes me feel weak. Like, look at this freaking flower. This flower is taller than I am. This flower is winning, and I am losing. Wow, you are not ready to hear about trees. What? Does anyone else pack underwear for a trip like they're planning on? Pooping themselves twice for every day they're gone? <laughs> 
Everybody gangster until the vindaloo hits the cobra like menthos hits coke. Today I learned raccoons were able to open 11 of 13 complex locks in fewer than 10 tries and had no problems repeating the action when the locks were rearranged or turned upside down. They can also remember the solutions to tasks for up to three years. The day the octopi and the raccoons form an alliance is the day humanity will perish. We'd have far more to fear of crows and raccoons united. Crows, raccoons, and octopi. The triumvirate of cleverness on air, land, and sea. Okay, but guys, we have drones. We, we have tanks. <laughs> Pretty sure we're pretty good against animals that are good at unlocking things. Sir, a raccoon's managed to pick the lock of our tank door. Oh my god, ew, ah! Hey, hey you, you fathoming, huh? You freaking perceiving over there, comprehending, beholding even. <laughs> feminine pup. It must be exhausting being a vampire and eating someone who gets off to it. I'd take psychic damage too if my lasagna was into vor. <coughs> I know we're not supposed to make fun of our students while we're grading, but this is not making fun. I promise. Nothing but respect to the woman who began her marijuana law final paper as a Pisces. And because people are wondering, yes, she made it work. The customer is always wrong. Suck my peepee. -pee. You don't know clink. I work here, not you. As a customer, that's fair to be honest. Couples that call each other king and queen pass out at stoplights on Xanax. No smart appliances in this house. Absolute freaking moron appliances only. My toaster is there to make bread hot, not to tweet what time I ate breakfast or whatever the frick. Don't need my goddamn microwave to switch to the NSA. If I am somehow forced to own a smart appliance, likely due to a lack of availability, I will figure out how to take the computer out and make it dumb. Yes, my ally. Lobotomize your coffee maker. I freaking love Irish slang. Like, it's the most creative craft ever. Today, I heard a coffin being referred to as a wooden onesie in the sentence, Ah, Jesus, my nanny looks better than you. And she's in a bleeding wooden onesie. And it was honestly life-changing. What would a mass grave be then? A dirt sofa? Shower thoughts. Society looks up to a man who set foot on the moon, and yet looks down on men who have crammed large amounts of rocks into their channels. <laughs> What? I agree. What? I crammed 40 freaking pebbles into my pee pee and I got suspended from school. Uh, how elastic is your foreskin, sir? How I wanted the first lines of my story to be. Serious, poetic, something to look back on and slap your forehead at because of the hidden foreshadowing. The actual first lines of my story. It's nice to know that when everything goes to hell, raccoons will never judge you. Only haunt your waking nightmares with their tiny, tiny hands. I am a lethal giraffe and 10 out of 10 would rather read a story with a second beginning. Are you writing a story about raccoons? I... I'm writing a story about dragons? I have zero regrets on naming my Roomba. Floor requires your attention. Floor is stuck near a cliff. You may think you're cool, but you'll never be as cool as a Mongolian shepherd with an AK-47 and a pet snow leopard. It's like someone just bought all the high-tier cosmetics for their shepherd simulator. Apes together strong. Cephalopods. Oh yes, sorry. Apes together cephalopods. <laughs> yeah, that one makes plenty of sense. 1,500 kilometers. For those wondering, that is the same as roughly 1.9 million bald eagles human centipede style. Our, can you explain that on washing machines? Dear ladies and gentlemen, before I proceed to the contents of this email, I would very much like to inform you that it has been typed by using my middle finger exclusively. Not an interesting brand new sentence, but just accurate, I guess? Dudes who leave comments on pictures of hot women that are clearly fake profiles would 100% fall for Bugs Bunny and drag. What's wrong with that? Meet Indiana Bones, the museum cat that parades around after hours, ruling over all of the bones at the Museum of Osteology. Oh, to be a cat that lives in a museum. That would actually be a dream come true. Pretty sure my clowns are about to lay eggs is an absolutely terrifying sentence coming from anyone other than my 
my coworker with a saltwater home aquarium. Now, it's still pretty scary. I may look like an adult human female, but I'm actually six toxic coping mechanisms in a trench coat. I'll never understand people who get in the fast lane just to drive the speed limit. This lane is for crime. Yeah, little short spurts of crime, that's true. It's silly to feel silly about bat wings. If you have them, you have them. And very handy they are on our crowded city streets. What the hell is this from? Well, I broke the apple slicer, but at least I invented the danger apple. You only get one shot, though. Make it count. What's your most controversial video game hot take? The pursuit for photorealism in games is a fruitless endeavor that only results in bloated file sizes that take too much space. Doom guy is a bottom. Lil Nas X looks like he's an evil bisexual Christmas elf. All right, sure, yeah. Hummingbirds. I shall sip nectar from this flower in a silent ballet. Woodpeckers, I'ma stab the bugs out of this tree with my face knife! Nothing phases me right now. Werewolves could descend upon us and I'd shrug and continue drinking my emotional support vodka. If you're having explosive diarrhea in a public bathroom and the fire alarm goes off, realistically, what do you do? Identify the fire, and if it isn't electrical, use my bowel gifted spray to quench the flames. Oh God, <laughs> what is wrong with you people? How does a Matrix movie work in 2021? I'm supposed to be scared of living in a fake reality trapped forever in 1999? It frosts my tips and log me in. In. Psyduck is probably like the most achievable Pokemon probably. Like I don't think I could teach a cabbage to grow legs and be a Bulbasaur, but there's probably a certain threshold of mental torment I could subject a duck to that would make it a Psyduck. Hot take, this is how we got Canadian geese. Oh yeah, they were trying to make Psyduck during the MK Ultra experiments too. Today, I had an overweight patient ask me to spread her butt cheeks for her so she could fart. Nurses really don't get paid nearly enough. I don't have bills. I have reverse passive income. <laughs> Sigma grind set. Swam under a shipyard pier at night. Solid concrete above me and lost my sense of direction. Got lucky and found my way out. Well, there's a new nightmare to add to my brain's encyclopedia of hell. That's enough internet for today, thanks. We are God's children, and he left us in a hot car. The AC is not on. God did that on purpose. I still get hungry every time I see this bowl of old Assyrian archival tablets in the Yale Peabody's Yale Babylonian collection. It does look like a big bowl of cereal, but wow, reading that was kind of difficult. The penalty box in hockey is such a fun concept to me. Big fighty men go in the naughty cube, imprisoned for sports crimes. Go to the terrarium and think about your punching, you knife-footed ice gremlin. Y'all check in on your law school friends. The bar is soon. They're not okay. Evidence. My husband forgot what day it was last week, and I received a text that said, Why the f*** no one tell me it was Friday? T-minus six days until the bar, and my husband just walked in a circle around the house for 15 minutes yesterday saying, I don't know the things. And stop. Stop dying. Wills are too confusing. Everyone stop dying. Update. Everyone just f*** stop owning things. Property is stupid and no one understands it. Just stop. Move to the woods. Be free. Radicalizing yourself by becoming a lawyer isn't the most intuitive path, but go you. Just witnessed a woman at the supermarket tell her child, stay here and talk to the lobsters. And I must admit, this is not the worst advice that I've ever heard. It's really not bad advice at all. I love how alligators are literally just overweight logs with anger issues. Yeah, they're really dangerous logs too. Honestly, Frodo's journey is so wild. Like, imagine your uncle goes missing after his birthday party, and his old stoner friend from out of town tells you the souvenir he brought back from a Vegas trip 80 years ago is actually Satan's mood ring and now zombie assassins are coming to burn down your town unless you and your lawn guy meet up with the medieval hosier in a dark gastropub. Honestly, my favorite explanation of that entire plot point ever. You can't beat this. I'm sorry. Well, Karen, they're called condoms. Dick masks, if that helps. Herpes, AIDS, and hepatitis are all viruses, so they tell us. Ever see anybody wearing a mask to prevent the spread of those? Yeah, me neither. Man, that's some next level stupid. Cat's blood black meat cushion. What is wrong with you? Just saw someone call a mental breakdown a menti bee, and I am definitely going to start calling it that. <laughs>
<laughs> Put my next Menti B on the sketch. The sun in all her stages. Kinda sad to see that humanity will probably never witness the sun in its MILF era. I hope your socks are wet and both sides of your pillow are warm. Easy there, Satan. Let's keep it below. I wish your hot pocket to be both molten and ice when you bite it. Demon, looking around inside me. Dude, no offense, but it's kind of a nightmare in here. Me? Haha, <laughs> yeah. How are all your thoughts in Comic Sans? Because I have willed it. Looks like the Wiggles original lineup is planning an 18 plus pub tour. Can't wait to get <laughs> smashed while Hot Potato plays in the background. Catch me in the pit during fruit salad. Are we also gonna have to wake up Jeff halfway through the show? To be honest, the idea that German is an angry or ugly language is just French propaganda to divert attention away from the fact that French sounds exactly like when your dog is choking on some plastic wrapper he found some. <laughs> Being a macro-organism is so stressful. I want to know what my cells are doing. I don't like how unsupervised they are. My cells govern themselves. I'm mostly just a figurehead. My body is a constitutional monarchy, and I am its powerless queen. Yeah, I think that's the case for all of us. Man, that pre-cum from ketchup will really f*** <laughs> your whole meal. Sometimes I really wish I couldn't read. Me too, but that is the truth. Please be careful of not let the pig enter the raccoon room. Do not try to hold or put the raccoon on your head. It's the raccoon choice, not yours. Only lucky people will be able to enjoy that kind of moment. Sorry. Now you better be sorry, that sucks! Does anyone else carefully choose the last bite of food you eat at the end of a meal so that your mouth can remember it? Yeah. In retrospect, hiding all the microchips in horse dewormer was a stroke of genius. It really was, wasn't it? I wish I could terrorize ancient people with things that are commonplace today. Releasing a Roomba into the Greek forums. Yeah, that certainly would get them head scratching. Business school sounds so made up. It's what a kindergartner would say if you asked them where their dads go all day. <laughs> His kiss was slow, but firm and unyielding like an old man backing his Lincoln Town car over a handicap parking sign. Ooh, that is flawlessly descriptive. It's about time I contributed to the online discourse. Bricks are domesticated rocks. Stop. Let them speak. You know, it's a real shame that Romans didn't have access to Australia specifically for augury reasons. I really wish I could have seen a Roman augur have to deal with Australian birds. Like, imagine trying to properly interpret an omen from a f***ing cassowary. Loving that the general consensus here is that the omen when you see a cassowary is that you are about to die of a cassowary. Okay, I'm not Australian enough to understand. Elon Musk and Grimes break up after three years together. Who's getting custody of syntax error? Well, he probably doesn't want the child and she didn't realize you're supposed to teach your kids how to talk, so... Either way, he's boned. Every French beach town has a little cafe called Le Nautilus, and every American beach town has a little cafe called Scratchy Dick's Big S*** <laughs> Crab F*** <laughs> Shack. And you know what? They're both awesome. I just download from Deezer, Tidal's Cobas, and listen in Music B, or just use my YouTube playlist. Okay, whatever f your fish, or something along those lines. I forgot the real sentence. No, 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 I like whatever f fish. So is it a thing in American English to use Texas as a word for like something that's out of control or chaotic or crazy? Like that party last weekend was totally Texas because that's a thing people say in Norwegian and I just think it's important for Americans to know that. This is the best thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, what? That is actually amazing if it's true. What? the f goes on in that country. Basically, Brazil is a big open Gmod server. Ooh, ooh, that's an interesting way of describing that. In reality, cats possess the ability to turn themselves right side up midair, if they should fall upside down, known as the cat writing reflex. This enables them to land on their feet if dropped from sufficient height. Toast, being an inanimate object, lacks both the ability and the desire to write itself. Oh, I doubt it lacks the desire, me. At a certain point in a relationship, relationship, you get to a point where you've seen your partner's butthole more than they have seen it themselves, and I think there's something beautiful in that, priest. The bride has also chosen to write her own vows. Customer states, rear brakes sound like Dory from Finding Nemo talking to the whale. Well, that's again, perfectly descriptive. I don't want your crotch-scented wind socks. Yeah, that's probably the dumbest <laughs> life hack I've ever heard. How many side boobs equal a full boob? How many sides does a boob have? Describe the geometric proportions of a boob. Show your work. I do not f*** any burrito without heft. If you're 
Mm. It's convenient and portable. Take it elsewhere. I want a burrito that is burdensome, unwieldy. When I raise it to my mouth, I should feel the weight of the mistake I'm about to make. No child should be able to eat this. We live in a world where people say this is gross, but they lick buttholes. Touche, rednecks. Well, buttholes don't give you cancer. That's a sentence I never expected to read, but you're not wrong. Do you ever eat popcorn out of the palm of your hand with such ardent desperation that you feel like both a wild horse and a gentle schoolgirl feeding it treats to gain its affection? This is the funniest thing that I ever read. My melatonin gummies melted in my Zoloft bottle, and now it's like an antidepressant nerd's rope. Why were they in the same Ooh. bottle? Are racist people like, ugh, my open-minded uncle is going to be at Thanksgiving this year? Uh, well, that wouldn't surprise me in any facet whatsoever. No, not surprising. Addison Ray hired me to run her Spotify account. She makes me click on esoteric non-binary vibes artists and play it at 2% volume. And if I play something normcore, she beats me and doesn't let me eat for three days. I don't know, sounds like a good job to me. Betty White really saw Nazis and Among Us in the same lifetime. Yeah, and she was ready to exterminate both. Remember to have a smoke alarm in every room and check the batteries monthly. A 10-watt laser diode that will fit in your hand can ignite some books, papers, or flammable furnishings through a window from a block away with no forensic evidence of arson. Hey, um, that's a little specific. I really think Rasputin lucked out, in that being remembered by history as some species of giant unkillable sex wizard is something most of us can only fruitlessly aspire to. <laughs> yeah. Don't we have his dick in a museum somewhere? I mean, good God. Fighting Jake Paul is how athletes declare bankruptcy without saying it. Isn't one of them gonna fight Mike Tyson? Maybe I heard that wrong. I hope I heard that wrong. Mike, don't give them an inch. Remember, toe beans are the sign of a killer. Funnily enough, I'm not 100% joking. While many animals have paw pads, the particular kind of soft, squishy beans found on house cats are an adaptation for stealth. Squishy beans mean you're looking at an ambush predator. These are the beans of a killer, fella. Binfluencer. The person on your street who always puts their wheelie bins out first on bin day and the rest of the neighbors follow. I think I may have invented a new word. Well, my entire neighborhood uses completely different companies, so we can't really have one of those. Although I'm the freak that puts them out the night before because I always forget in the morning. What's the word for when hands are bisexual? Do you mean ambidextrous? Yes, that's what he said. People make fun of Sally Field's character and Mrs. Doubtfire for not seeing through Robin Williams' ruse, but accusing your nanny of secretly being your ex-husband disguised as an elderly British woman is sort of the shot you don't take unless you're 100% certain. Exactly. <sighs> I'm sure she figured something was up, but can you imagine that going wrong? Can you imagine you'd look like an absolute scary freak? Even more so than Robin Williams' character in that movie. You don't need that, every chef right now. Today I'm going to show you how to make something simple with ingredients everyone has in their pantry, since you can't go to the store. I'm starting with Madagascar vanilla, hemp milk, and a single feather from a dodo bird. Yeah, common household ingredients, ma'am. My conspiracy theory is that time travel is real, and someone keeps trying to fix 2020 by changing something, but every time they do, they unwittingly make it worse. How else do you explain the sudden disappearance of murder hornets? They saved us from those, but at what cost? It's a good point. Where did they go? And furthermore, where did all the murder clowns go from, what year was that, 2017? 2016? I can't remember, but they disappeared too. A president makes a new law that anyone shorter than him gets executed, but he accidentally makes it an amendment to the Constitution, so it applies to future presidents too. In the next elections, there's a frenzy of people voting for the shortest president so they don't die, and this is how they end up electing a three-foot-tall man named Pinwheel Patrick, who goes on to become the most tyrannical dictator the world has ever seen. Hmm. I'd watch this HBO miniseries any day. Please note that Disney's depiction of Winnie the Pooh is still under copyright. It's the character from the books that have entered public domain. Red shirt on the bear? Artist beware. If nude he be, your poo is free. That is true. Be careful out there. Imagine if Elmo was a wild animal. Like, just imagine you're in the jungle, and you come upon a large, ravenous pack of wild Elmos. Well, you better not be Rocco. Who decided skeletons are scary? Like, you have a skeleton. You have a skeleton. Do not be afraid of you. But they aren't meant to exit the meat. Well, there you go. Thank you for that. Ocean pollution is a huge problem, but there is an obvious solution. Raccoons love to eat garbage. 
Therefore, if we trained a raccoon navy, they'd be able to go out to the sea and eat the ocean garbage. I don't see how this plan could go wrong. We should also give them swords. I wonder if Gordon Ramsay ever says fuck it and microwaves himself 12 pizza rolls at 2 a.m. Nah, he's too good for that. And by good, I mean arrogant. See, look, Gordon, I love you, man. But anyone on Earth should be able to admit that just because something isn't of the highest quality in the world doesn't mean it can't also be yummy every now and then, dude. Pizza rolls? Are they good? No, they're dumpster trash. But are they pretty tasty? Yeah, chill, Gordon. Scientists tagging birds with colored bands and accidentally making the tagged birds more appealing to mates is so funny. Imagine being abducted by aliens and they gave you a Gucci belt. I don't think that Gucci anything makes you more attractive to mates. I wish Animal Crossing was real and my only plans for tomorrow were getting up, watering my tulips, and then hanging out with my cat friends, then finding money and trees to pay off my debt to a raccoon. Can you imagine finding enough money and trees to pay off your mortgage? You say that it's f that gingerbread men live in gingerbread houses, but to a gingerbread person, gingerbread is as inscrutable and fundamental as carbon. The people in homes are no more alike than humans are to diamonds. Only we, their gods and creators, can see the horror. You know, if I were giving out awards during these videos to the best of the best for each subreddit, that one wins it. At least for this episode. One thing I would like is a recut of a horror movie where every surprise is delightful. Like the girl finally decides to check out the weird noise coming from the basement, and it's 14 hedgehogs throwing an ice cream social. Jill, I like the way you think. You'll grow up not ever really knowing if you deserve love, but one day you'll meet someone who loves you, and you'll be able to accept yourself. Then, once they really get to know you, they'll find you unbearable and leave. But the important thing is to stay hydrated with vodka. <laughs> Airline travel is the absolute pinnacle of humanity to me. We found a way to soar through the high, untrespassed sanctity of space, and also found a way to make it suck the whole time. Absolutely iconic work by the species. Think about the shareholders. I experience same-sex attraction, but my identity is in Christ. Experiencing same-sex attraction is not sinful. Acting on it is. Being tempted is not sinful. Choosing the temptation is. God provides the strength and grace necessary to choose life over enemies' lies. He is good. Okay, Queen, DM me when Jesus isn't looking. <laughs> Oh man, it's so f dumb. Dudes walk around with a jug of water like they're about to dig holes at Camp Green Lake with Stanley Yelnats. Stay hydrated, bro. Do you not get it? Give me five dollars, and I'll move to your ex's current city, super like them on Tinder until they notice me, conjure up whatever lies necessary for them to fall for me, and then frame them for triple homicide in the court of law. Man, five bucks? That's a steal. You put ribs in the oven at 200 degrees for four hours, and they're fall off the bone. Your body is on your skeleton at 98.6 degrees for 70 years, and nothing. Huh. The paradox of meat. See, why would we watch Dune when we could get that movie? We used to be a country. A proper country. Your most recent retweet is point of a cow. Not even a humanoid. Anthro cow. Literally just a cow. You drink cow milk. Out of a glass, without an erection. What the f***? Fly me to the moon. Let me kick its f ass. Let me show it what I learned in my moon jujitsu class. Wow, this blew up. Wish the moon would. I bet before peanut butter was invented, people just chewed on individual peanuts for a long time and felt a vague longing for the future. Right. It's our heritage. Pokemon Go has lasted longer than the Confederacy did, and with three times the Americans behind it. You're lucky they only took the statues down instead of replacing them with Pikachus. I actually vote to have replaced them with Pikachus. I want to go back in time and put up Pikachu, man. Rage Against the Machine never specified what type of machine they were furious with, but I reckon it was a printer. It had to have been a printer. Nothing else makes sense. Rory Culkin looks like he walked in on two biblically accurate angels raw-dogging the <laughs> shit out of each other. It's trying a little hard, but I'll allow it. Also, Rory Culkin? I feel like every year, a new brother is revealed. It's like the next Call of Duty. When we were at Costco earlier, James was crushing right along, and I told him to slow down. He was like, we're only here for three things, and a sea of dads just erupted in laughter, and <laughs> oh, buddy, that's what you think. Just lit him the f up. The Costco dads are absolutely relentless. Yeah, yeah, they are. Just like the Target moms. Gerbils are born into a world where an eight-year-old is their guardian. For life. Imagine if instead of K-pop, it was R-pop, and it's from Russia, and you had girls all over Twitter tweeting stuff like stream Zdravstvo and posting pictures like this and being like, oh my god, 
<laughs> Ivanovich looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I want to wake up in that world. High school is a really bizarre experience in retrospect. Would start your morning at 8 a.m. with a honey bun and an orange soda, and then you'd learn about the Pythagorean theorem, read Robert Frost, and then go run a mile all in the span of three hours. And you'll remember nothing but the bad stuff. She ebbing on my knees or till I scrooge. All right, so here's the thing. Tumblr slash Apple can ban as many words as they want and it will never achieve their goal of cleaning up this site because this wretched nonsense poetry is somehow the single dirtiest thing I've ever read in my life and honestly, thank God, sorry. <laughs> the reason why you're poor is because you think of sex when it rains instead of farming. What? Who's thinking of sex when it rains? Can we go to heaven with tattoos? People with tattoos will not go to heaven. People who drink alcohol will not go to heaven. People who eat too much pork will also not go to heaven. Short people will not go to heaven. Man, I'm all but the short thing. We accept cash, credit, debit, gold, uranium, goats, shrooms, goats on shrooms, just not crypto. Get the fuck out of here. People who have no playlists and just shuffle their liked songs folder are capable of murder. I don't know why I said mur murder like that, but you know what? He's right. The expert ham sniffer of Spain is at the limit of human possibility. Smelling 800 hams a day to make sure they're perfect for Christmas. I'll find a way to sniff 801, perhaps 802 if possible. They make one guy in the country do that? The highest comfort per clothing removed ratio is socks. Yeah, you got that right. Sometimes I forget that Elon Musk has always been a privileged rich kid, and Elon Musk's daddy owned an emerald mine, and Elon Musk walked around with jewels in his pockets, and Elon Musk didn't start Tesla. He just ousted the founders, and Elon Musk has never invented anything. Sometimes. Oh, it's a fun rabbit hole to go down. Also, did you see that his anti-traffic jam tunnels got a traffic jam? It's only physics if it's from the physique region of France. Otherwise, it's just sparkling math. But I like sparkling math. I'm just kidding, I hate all math. It sucks. Coding tip for when you get stuck. Shut your laptop, stand up, stretch, take a walk, go to the airport, get on a plane, adopt a sea lion, and never return. I have the memory mattress and the gravity blanket. Once I acquire the time pillow and the duvet of truth, I can do the summoning. The summoning of what exactly, friend? During my divorce, my grandma asked me if I wanted her to off my ex. I'm 99 years old, she said. They can't do much to me at this point. That is, if I even get caught. I'm sure she was kidding. At least 87% sure. Either way, that's the type of support everyone deserves. Leave the peach cobbler in the kitchen alone, mother would say, going upstairs. But I couldn't help myself. I sneaked in and watched him. Watched him make his stupid little peach shoes, taunting. Nobody's gonna wear those, I'd say. They're stupid. But on he worked. I'm not a tomboy. I'm a 32-year-old. I'm a full-grown Thomasman. <laughs> It's kind of f***ing. Musicians eat sandwiches by placing them inside trombones and honking them into each other's mouths. This, <laughs> this is an example of defamiliarization, where something totally normal, conventional, and ordinary, like honk witching, is taken and described as something that sounds weird and foreign. That is true. Come on. Boys are so tough until they're in the passenger seat of your car. And then it's squirming around and grabbing the edge of their seat, yelling, Jesus Christ, Grace, there's a f***ing truck. Please, Grace. Hats off to the waiter that kept a straight face as my five-year-old ordered the vagina for lunch instead of the lasagna. I mean, they could actually have that on the menu. I'm, I'm not gonna knock them for it. Why is it cancelled in the UK, but cancelled in America? Ah, we gave you that L in 1776. Ooh, I actually know the answer to this one. American newspaper ads charged by the letter. No, they didn't actually. See you later. My homie just chugged three Mike's hard lemonades and beat through the fire and flames on expert with a wee nunchuck while gay. I'm gonna start appending while gay to everything I do. It's important to know. The five types of Christmas songs. Look, snow. I want sh Santa's horny. Let's all get schnackered. The birth of Christ has ushered in a new age, and no man shall taste eternal death. That really is incredibly true, isn't it? Me uses yeet in a sentence. 14-year-old. Mom, no one says yeet. Yeet is cringe? Mom, no one says cringe. Cringe has been yeeted? The glare was epic. Hey, 14-year-old, we made that sh Suck it. What is it with the constant leftist obsession with sexual intercourse? What sexual activity do leftists even engage in? 
Communist Manifesto ma <laughs> Sessions, Historical Materialism Hentai, AOC Body Pillow? Jesus, calm down, dude. Just because you're not getting any of it doesn't mean you need to freak out over the word sex. You couldn't pay me to even try that. One slip and it's a goofy yodel all the way down into that abyss. Hmm, a goofy yodel. Well, if you're gonna go out, you may as well go out a little goofy. I don't know what this is, but I'm pretty sure it's not for me. That's a Karen flag. It represents all that they love. It's an omen of the American Dream cult. If you get too close, your ankles will be bitten by a dog that's sporting the same haircut as the lady who appears to be the embodiment of disgruntled. Avoid at all costs. I'd probably have to move if I ever saw someone put up a flag like that in my neighborhood. Six-year-old couldn't remember the word for tomorrow, so she called it Nexterday. So that's the word now. All right, all right. All in favor of officially changing the word tomorrow to Nexterday, can we get an I in the comments? And that's A-Y-E, not I. Come on, everybody vote. The council has spoken. I'm craving a sandwich, but I forgot how to spell it again. And I'm so bad at spelling that even autocorrect gave up on me. It's the flat hot dog meat, baloney. Yes, the flat hot dog meat. Oh, oh, that's just the worst thing I've heard today. You know it's bad when he says fudge with a hard K. What? That is a no-no word. Never said it in my life. Can't prove it. God, I love Ohio. This gas pump has a teeny tiny little screen on it, and all it does is show teeny tiny little Bible verses on it. And, uh, oh boy, they're the ominous ones. A gas station pump telling you you're a trespasser in God's territory is like American Gothic satire. What 1900 people thought life would be like in the year 2000? Balloons supported lake walking. We've gone the wrong way. Man, I always loved visions of the future from hundreds of years ago. Those people were freaks. Whoever invented marriage was creepy as hell. Like, I love you so much, I'm gonna get the government involved so you can't leave. Huh, Jim Carrey totally said this. Actually, you know what? It does sound like something that he maybe said. So I don't know. You never really know when it comes to the internet, man. Damn girl, are you a kids movie from my generation? Because you're fun and cute, but also horrifying in many ways I didn't originally realize. Yeah, Pee-wee's Big Adventure was... Yeah, it was definitely fun and cute, but I still have some nightmares. Oh, same thing with the brave little toaster, too. Having penetrated the protective exoskeleton, a wily hunter harvests the succulent house meat within. Mmm, I'm really glad houses aren't alive. <laughs> Gross. Man twerked too hard on the April Fool's joke, and he landed in the back rooms. You can twerk too hard and end up in the back rooms? I gotta be more careful. Potion heads be like, bro, this is an elixir. Bro, it's different, just try it. Nice try, junkie. I'm sticking with the turkey legs and apples I find on the castle floor. <laughs> no, yes. I am fangirling a knife. Leave me alone. Um, what? No, but one more time, please. This dog buys a cookie at the bar every day and pays with a leaf. Oh, meanwhile, I've got to use money. This is bullshit. Oh, almighty one, what is your reaction when a Canis Lupus Familiaris consumes and therefore destroys your internet provider? I would fucking hate it. Make sure you use it after having your monthly digestive system resetting burrito that clears your cash and lets you feel like a new man all over again. I've passed by this store that was closed for months. Today, the metal gate was a little open, and I saw inside, and it's just full of mayo. While well, they're getting ready for the demand that is clearly coming around the corner. Look, people were stocking up on toilet paper. Yes, that was stupid. Mayo is next, at least for the white people. What school you went to? Why? You look for me your. I look what? I said you look for me your. Huh? Motherfucker, you look like I know you, damn. All bodies are miracles. Every day I get down on my knees and I pray to God and say, dear God, Thank you for this meat sculpture you've imprisoned my immortal soul in. I'll find a witch to undo your curse, and when I'm released, we'll see who smites who now, you son of a bitch. Uh -huh. The Tibetan fox looks like someone tried to draw it from memory. Aw, leave the poor guy alone, he's cute. Biblically accurate Hatsune Miku. Well, I'm just upset. There is moisture in my bagel bag. You banned this guy, right? Like permaban? Not timeout, like permaban, right? Could anyone imagine humans tearing off their limbs after breaking it and growing it back months later? That would be cool. I'd jack off and leave my arm in a Wendy's lobby all the time, half-eaten chili bowl in my hand. Bro, what? 
If you include human ancestors and not just modern-day humans, we'd only be the star of the show for the last two minutes. There are movie credits longer than our existence. Well, yeah, it's a brand new sentence, I guess. I've heard something like that before. If all, all of history was condensed onto a clock, we would be like the last four seconds until midnight. Your pee muscles are weak. My what? Uh, I have pee muscles? That face can look like many face from different angle and size. It'll just feel like you have seen, but you never d This one is impossible to read. I'm sorry, I'm the professional reader here, okay? I think I know what I'm talking about, and this is stupid. Dry aging is basically controlled putrefaction. Nothing like dry aged armadillo slow cooked on a slab of sun baked concrete. Crispy and crunchy on the outside, gooey on the inside, like a creme brulee from hell. Ah, just like Grammy used to make. You mean you're almost two year old? After 12 months, it's a year stop making people do math. No, you stop with months after two years, you fluffed nugget. What's a fluffed nugget? I really have no clue. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> Landlocked states, provinces, and territories of North America. In Nebraska, it's illegal to talk about the ocean. What? I didn't know about this. Hey, Nebraskans, what's your deal? Why do you hate the ocean so much? I'm sorry, my what? Probiotics for your panty hamster. Well, that's one way to advertise. What the uh -huh. shit? Sensible part of the brain. You made enough pasta that you could take it in for lunch tomorrow. Put it in a container. Overwhelming majority of brain, shovel the pasta into your face. Do it. Put it in your face. The future is meaningless, but the pasta is now. The future is meaningless, but the pasta is now. Rich teens on TV are always talking about how rich they are, but I went to private school with lots of rich teens and they don't do that. They say something like, oh, we have a little place at the beach, and then you go and it's a 20 bedroom mansion that Chef Boyardee used to own. What in the sweet and sour Kentucky Fried f*** did you just speak onto this wretched plane? I just accidentally dropped some ranch, and it fell between my toes. Now I can't be sure that I haven't just discovered a new fetish. Don't even know reality anymore. You've got issues. The really guys is the you, how your have question is it? What? I do not speak English perfect. Well, that much is true. Let's say the guy's about 70 kilograms and he fell at quite a speed. So I'd take a guess that it was enough to cause a brain restart or whatever it's translated to. Basically, just get unconscious with some temporary damage. A concussion? Holy fire, cheese nuggets, and Ritz crackers. My girlfriend proposed to me today and gave me a ring. You're so random, it's funny. Elon Musk's mom looks like she's about to tell you that we all must sacrifice to preserve the Zeppelin that's the last surviving holdout of humanity in the skies above a ravaged Earth. And it's a sad fact that you have become dead weight. Yikes. Anything involving them, yikes. Iced Cake says, It definitely tasted like cake in some form? Like dry cake mix mixed with Satan's seltzer. Do not consume this, I am begging you. Don't worry, you don't have to ask me twice. Five in one for dudes that are really in a hurry. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, face wash, and deodorant. Or seven in one for procrastinators. We've got shampoo, body wash, conditioner, face wash, deodorant, clothes, and shoes, none of which are any good. Squeezes bottle and gets hit in the face by a rapidly decompressing shoe. My phone can get wet. Okay. Aw, you look so pretty with that drink. LOL, a woman walked by and said, fancy. I also passed the most amount of human feces I've ever seen on the sidewalk. Thanks for the update, guy. Well, this was an emotional climax that cut off like my foreskin. What is your problem? Pour cold water in mouth. Add uncooked pasta noodles. Heat water to boiling using the power of your own rage. Strain out boiling water through teeth while making eye contact with your mortal enemies. Add sauce, snort parmesan, kill the gods. Notice how porn wrecks the part of the pineal, the pineal, the pine, the pine, whatever gland. The gland is believed to be the seat of the soul. It's funny because it's not destroyed. That's a sign of higher activity. Constantly jacking your hot dog to porn makes your soul. I know it doesn't say hot dog. I just thought it was funnier. Makes your soul start honking like a goose inside your skull. I've been attacked, not by Twitter, by some random ass dude with a stove pan. What? What? Was there a church in the Walmart? The crosses were across the highway, but they were placed at a perfect angle where they looked like they were riding out of Walmart. Deus Ex Supermarket, I guess. 
Honestly, I think it's really cool, particularly the background. Not sure what the hell is happening in the foreground, but that's none of my business anyway. Expertly said, no business of mine what the bedtime bird or gentleman swine are doing here with this lady, as long as they're not hurting anyone. I take off my boots like this, so if a burglar walks into my apartment, he thinks I'm really big. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Holy sh**. Uh. The mitochondria didn't feel like the powerhouse of the cell today. Food authority. Please keep the door closed while you download the truck and make sure it's closed when you leave. Will do. Here's a question for all you mind readers out there. Yes, but not how you think. There weren't enough trumpets, and when it got wet, it cried and exploded. Ah, more funny, haha, random, random. Had to watch a sea urchin fertilization lab for school. And the way they dispose of the fertilized urchins is putting them in a tube labeled used, LMAO, cruelty. Slutty urchins banished to the whore chamber. Gender is a demolition derby, and I'm a $500 2003 Ford Crown Victoria on a rural Indiana Craigslist. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty good. That's the winner. F uh -huh. Brains. Stupid malfunctioning blobs of electric fat, I swear to God. They're like two steps away from just being jelly which would make our skulls big jelly bowls. Without a shred of sarcasm, I once heard an evangelical describe hot Cheetos as a product of the devil. It's because there's fire on the package, isn't there? <laughs> no, they felt tempted by the mascot. Stupid sexy cheetah. Can you just imagine telling on yourself like that? This is the work of the devil. Why? Because I wanna fuck that anthropomorphic cheetah. Eating is crazy. You put food in a cavity where you smash it with 32 bones, then a meat tentacle pushes it down into a pool of acid. Wow, thank you. I was already insecure about my body on the outside, and now I'm insecure about the insides too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a freak. But I guess, in a way, we all are. Together. Someone you'd pay to shut your mother up says, Don't let people tell you your attraction to fire is abnormal or hazardous. Prometheus doesn't have his liver eaten every day for you to ignore the allure of arson. I feel like this is just saying, Don't be intimidated by someone you find super hot but in a very convoluted and complicated way. Still very healthy advice. You just, you go ahead and strut your stuff, girl, or boy, or person, whoever you are. You're just as much of a trophy as they are. Bard is a combat class, which is true because I've never met anyone in a marching band that didn't want to throw down. I'm gonna stick your head on my tuba like a pike. Playing tuba in marching band means you can power walk two miles backwards on your toes in 16 minutes without bending your knees while carrying a third 35 pound blunt metal objects with your arms held at right angles and blasting every extra gulp of oxygen you can spare without asphyxiating to make sounds loud enough to deafen the dead in an act of pure unchristian violence. Your bard is the party member who will teach you how to kill God by example. Lesson learned folks, if you ever need a hype coach, Hire a dinosaur. Just a shame they couldn't hype themselves out of extinction. You've got this! That meteor's nothing! You can- you can kill God by- So unfair that noon is the only time that gets a nickname. Gonna start calling 4pm. Bonky. Hello, I'm free afternoon, but before Bonky. <laughs> Okay, did you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but bonk alone sounds like something completely different. Though in a way, it is a prime time for 4 p.m. Here's a scenario. Frat boy vampire draining someone while his bros chant, Chug, 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 chug in the background. Mutuals, this could be us. Opening a cold one with the boys? No. Opening up a boy with the cold ones. Opening up a boy with cold ones. <laughs> you, sir, have temporarily cured the last part of my name. Today, I learned that the the Pope can appoint secret cardinals, and even the selected individual may not know he has cardinal status. The name can be made public at any time, but if the Pope dies before revealing the name of a secret cardinal, the individual will no longer be a cardinal. What the frick is Catholicism? So what you're telling me? is that there is only one person in the world that can prove that I am not a cardinal. At last, unlimited, pointless, religious power! I have a small confession to make. 
my URL's based on a true story. Well, do tell, Clit just hit the fan. I was at a party and a drunk girl wanted to show how athletic she was. She did a backflip right below the ceiling fan and it nailed her dead on. It was a thick blade, so she didn't get cut, but she still got vibe checked in the clit at high speed. She was fine, but she spent the rest of the party on the couch in the just took a two by four to the position. Update, telling this story cost me four followers. Ah, uh, yeah, they probably thought they were cardinals and didn't want to lose their status. Fellas, when you send unsolicited papi-papi pics, you're driving the cost of papi-papi down. In a capitalist market, you're providing too much papi-papi to the consumers and they don't want it. We need papi-papi scarcity to create papi-papi demand. Of course, this makes total sense. We need to jump onto the market that is really in demand. Gaping buttholes. Oh! Ew! Ew! <laughs> That's right, gentlemen. No longer does the woman demand a picture or proof of your manhood size. Sorry, just trying to practice being a Tyrannosaurus Rex here. Break the mold. Send photos of your gaping anus. <laughs> Demon looking around inside me. Dude, no offense, but it's like kind of a nightmare in here. <laughs> yeah. How are all your thoughts and comic sounds? Dana says, went on a date with a guy years ago and told him I might have narcolepsy, to which he looked at me weirdly, changed the subject, and he never called me back. Years later, he asked if I still fancied dead people, and it turns out he thought I meant necrophilia. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I've been the winner of the worst date ever story for years because I thought you were a corpse shagger. Hey. Hey! Don't kink shame. Coffee drinkers. I am unimaginably powerful! I can see through time! I haven't slept in four days, but who needs sleep when you are on a higher plane of existence? The beans are in my soul! They are in my heart! I am the beans! Soon I will vibrate at the harmonic resonance of the universe and transcend! Tea drinker. Hot leaf juice. Soda drinkers. Death is coming. Death is coming. Pass me a hot dog. Aye, has your pee pee ever been too soft to have the kinky times, but you don't want to disappoint, so you ball your pee pee up like some old homework and hit him with the shrimpy and hope your pee pee wake up inside like evanescence. Some women use birth control for, I use it for the smacks, a human activity. A diga half if you don't think I should be having smacks. I use it because I want smacks and don't want kids. Die mad about it. Uh, we need to give this tweet more credit for, I'm pretty sure, coining die. I'm mad about it. Google Analytics say, uh, checks out. Thank you, Melanie. Damn, this is great. Literal verifiable proof that this is a brand new sentence. In before someone down below says, uh, excuse me, I actually used to say this a lot in high school. For what reason does every apartment complex have a dog weight limit of 20 pounds? I can promise you my 90 pound golden retriever is a hell of a lot better behaved than Karen's seven pound piece of poo devil worshiping chihuahua. This ant uses its big ass head to block off the nest entrance. Talk about being the perfect fit, am I right? <laughs> Imagine being born and you're literally just the door. Hey, gives the term slamming the door a whole new meaning. What if the male PP was like a tape measure and the coil was stored in the bowls and you could pull out as much or as little as you need at a time and when not in use, you just give it a quick tug and it retracted back into place. Anyway, I hope these edibles hit soon. Apparently Ikea bags are a great way to restrain angry swan. Angry swan. <laughs> Angry Shrons. I would like to suggest the bags be given to a new name to reflect their true usage. Something like Bird Contain or Honk Hort. One of those filthy vampire apologists says, This morning at brunch, the server came out and he was like, Unfortunately, we don't have ice right now because a server just broke a glass in it. And we were like, Oh no, that's fine. I think an element of danger at brunch is sexy and fun. And he was like, Oh no, absolutely. I get that. But I still can't let you eat glass at my job. Ah, what a prude. Let us have some kinky fun at brunch time, man. Jeez, why, why are you going to be such a buzzkill? This is why you get no swipes on Tinder. My Uncle Ted used to soak a corn cob in a jug of milk overnight so it would soften, then take it out in the morning, cover it with grape jelly, and eat the whole cob for breakfast. What? What? Is, is corn cob in milk and, and then grape jelly? <sighs> 
I shall no longer feel ashamed whenever I mention my love for Nutella and tomato sauce sandwiches if this, if this sort of taste exists out there in the world. How the frick do people just stay motivated their entire lives? Like, what drives you? I got out of bed once, and I've been exhausted ever since. Well, see, you need to learn to hate life to the point where you want to get revenge on existence itself. That's a great motivator. I agree. Go for it. Despite, use your hate. Let the dark side consume you. We have cookies. I think it's funny that after you give blood, they keep calling you every once in a while to ask if you want to give more blood. And I get it. Blood is important and in short supply, but it just seems like, hey, we heard you made more blood. Can you, uh, can you give us that new blood? <laughs> <laughs> that sweet, sweet, fresh blood. <laughs> it's, it's been a while, Jacob. We know you have it. We know you have the blood, Jacob. Ooh, you were so full of blood, Jacob. Now you're just being selfish. A thick, thorny cactus says, I like when flies won't leave my car on long road trips. Have fun moving to Kansas, you tiny idiot. Joke's on you, human. I'm going on a holiday. Free flights, baby! New official designation and law by the Houseplant Addicts Government. Plants are the new pets. Pets are the new kids. That, that is the genuine voice of all plant people, let's be honest. Um, then what are kids? <laughs> kids are now like exotic animals. You've got to be a little bit crazy or rich to have them. I don't want to say it's a yeah, but it's a yeah. The mayor of Tatlandia says, My wife I've spilled iced coffee directly in her lap and asked if I wanted some pumpkin spice twatties. <laughs> so yeah, I married way out of my league on every single level. Thank God it was ice. Gosh, could you imagine otherwise? Good news. Prancer, the 13 pound gremlin chihuahua who hates men and children. <laughs> Oh, Prancer, why? And was described as a vessel for a traumatized Victorian child has been adopted by a 36-year-old single lesbian in Connecticut. There are parts of this headline that make me wonder why was it necessary to specify that? But then also, I feel like it was necessary to specify that. My God, I mean, you can just tell it was a man taking this photo. Look, look at that freaking sinister stare. If cat not enjoy being held, why baby-sized? Yeah, that's a fair question. They are perfectly baby-sized. I'm afraid you're gonna have to ask God about that one, because I don't know the answer. We need to normalize bisexual, introverted, leftist, former gifted children with depression who drink iced coffee and sleep till noon. Hey, um, shut up. How about that, okay? I don't need to be called out almost every video, okay? I once told my students to put their heads down and I'd count votes for either Extra Recess or a Bill Nye episode. Nobody voted for the video, but it was winter and I didn't want to go outside, so I told them Bill Nye won, and that's basically elections here in America. <laughs> oh, He looks like he's suppressing the urge to blink horizontally. That man is always suppressing that urge. I've seen him do it once. It's not as scary as you think, though, because we all know what he is. Also, how can you be worth billions and billions of dollars and still have a haircut like that? Nothing like a close call slip in the shower to remind you that you're just a Jenga tower of blood. Well, and bone and meat, mainly meat, we drink boba tea to satisfy our ancient and innate urge to slurp up tadpoles from a puddle through a reed. No, we absolutely do not. When you've successfully dodged all of the creepy dudes trying to sell you moisturizer at mall kiosks, this is the final lotion boss you must face. I think I could take him. Dude looks like a truck stop gas station all over the place. When we met, my boyfriend just wasn't a cat person. We're out of wet food and he's currently cooking fish so the boys can still have a good dinner. As though they're loyal patrons of a restaurant, he cannot disappoint and not too many hell panthers that poop in a box and yell at us. Well, he's right though. My balls are Discord certified. No, they are not. Discord has certified your balls. Nice balls, yeah, we'll certify them. Never question me. How can I get certified? When someone tells me they're a Christian, I ask, classic Jesus or Republican Jesus? That's a good question to ask because they're very freaking different. Here's how they raised millennial kids. Go to college, 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 go to college. Uh, why'd you go to college if you wanted electricity and a roof? You kids are overeducated and over gay. Is it just me? Or does the frame rate get higher when you step inside a Costco? 
It's because everything comes in bulk there and Costco has really good object instancing. So it only has to construct the VBO for each kind of product once and then reshade it for individual instances. What's gets you a big frame rate improvement over the parking lot where one million unique cars are in view at any given time. I don't understand this and I do at the same time. Happy two year anniversary. Here's to us looking more alike with each passing year until we're a single beast with four arms and four legs that runs at a top speed of 50 miles per hour and screams like a baboon at nearby travelers trespassing into our woods. To many more! Emergency hot dog that heats up when you crack it like a glow stick. Okay, this guy might actually be on to the greatest invention since fire, all right? People with no kids who turn y'all lights off and hand y'all the remote. I tell Google to turn the lights off, and my remote is on the end table next to where I sit. It's 2020. Stop using your crotch fruit as employees. Find yourself a guy who purposefully feeds his cows in the shape of a heart just to send to you. This some cute-ass yeehaw shit, I can't lie. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. The best Reddit thread I've ever seen was when someone asked if the gang from Always Sunny in Philadelphia could kill Darth Maul, and almost all of the responses were over four paragraphs long. Best quote from that thread? To give the gang a slight advantage, we'll assume that Darth Maul has not seen any of the films in the Home Alone franchise. I just dumped a package of fruit snacks into my mask at work and am slowly eating them like a horse. I love the pandemic. I guess that's one reason to love it. So amazing how my parents found each other even though they were from opposite ends of the eyebrow spectrum. Mother of God, they really were, weren't they? Man, I forgot my mask when walking my dog just now and felt some brand new form of stress I didn't know existed until recently. I can't be going outside without my face pan anymore. It's indecent. Thank you, James Allen McCune. You are my favorite actor. Linguistic question from a non-native speaker. Why is it man in Virginia here, but Florida man in other news? Virginia is a place. Florida is a derogatory adjective. You hear that, Floridians? <laughs> Chewbacca is a guy, not a woman. How disturbing. This man sees a Lego ass of a fictional bipedal animal and his first thought is, bro, I'm not gay. What the fuck? Restroom with urinal. Restroom without urinal. Where's your god now, gender roles? I was actually at a cafe yesterday and their bathrooms were marked, whatever, just wash your frickin' hands. Last night I dreamed that scientists used a really bad picture of me to prove humans are closely related to goats and I was so insulted that I woke up. To goats? What do you look like? Then don't say goats, come on. A friend's grandma got COVID. She's recovered. How did she get COVID? She's been sneaking off to karaoke bars that are covertly operating illegally without COVID precautions. Illegal underground grandma karaoke bars. Am I disappointed? Amazed? Losing my mind? All of the above. So the answer is yes to everything. I spent $6,000 and over 40 hours building my 100% movie accurate Groot costume, and yet all the idiots in my office can't stop emailing about Shannon's dumbass toddler's bullshit baby Groot costume that honestly looks like a turd in a marshmallow. Stupid babies. Stamps foot. I do not want a gumbo recipe from the New York Times. I want a gumbo recipe from an old woman named Mama Thibodeau Landry who can bare knuckle box an alligator while reciting the Holy Rosary in Cajun French, all right? I fully agree with that. I don't want no New Yorker gumbo. I want the real thing, okay? Make it melt my brain. I'm having a lovely walk. Rex, I'm so sorry. That was me who honked at you just now. I was just excited to see you, but then you yelled at me and I remembered about men honking at women from cars. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry I told you to go f*** yourself. No, 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 I'm sorry I honked. It was just a good Christian honk, okay? I don't mind mosquitoes sucking my blood. I've got plenty to go around. What annoys me is the need to inject the itch juice into my skin. Like, I'm already feeding you, why are you being such a bitch? Imagine if I slapped my mom every time she made me dinner. You don't do that? I don't give a crap if there's a microchip in the vaccine. They could put a whole iPod Nano inside me if it meant I was allowed to go get drunk at Olive Garden again. Hell, I'd put a Mac Pro in my stomach to go to the Cheesecake Factory, all right? Wife, why is there a charge for $3,000 to Men's Warehouse? Me, I have no idea. Don't go outside, though. Horse gets tailored three-piece suit and looks absolutely dashing. The flat cap seals the deal. Dress for the jockey you want, not for the jockey you have. How does one man manage to look like Bill Clinton and the Queen simultaneously? <laughs> With a lot of hard work, sweetie. Katie Lee did not win the pageant because she was a trilobite. Aw, don't worry about it, Katie. You're suspicious if you enjoy Bloody Marys. Keep your iced ketchup drinks far away from me. 
I agree with you, Harper. You're so right. I'm sorry, but the Norwegian butter crisis of 2011 just confuses my goddamn brain because how the actual hell does an entire country run out of butter? Did Norway just come downstairs like, uh, uh, whatever the hell that is? I was gonna explain how the butter crisis happened, but then I noticed your hilarious attempt at writing We've Run Out of Butter. I'm not sure if you know, but you basically just wrote, We drove out of the lubrication. How is that wrong, my good sir? Can you believe we used to go to work sick with no mask, riding shoulder on the subway just raw dog in the air like that? Will I wear one every day forever? No, but I'll be wearing one a lot more in 2022 than I did in 2019. Maybe we should also stop this bullshit culture of forcing ourselves to go to work when we're sick. Yeah, I'm sick. I'm staying home. Oh, I'm out of sick days? I don't fucking care. I'm staying home because I'm sick. So you can deal with it. Half of college professors are like, you can know nothing about me except my name. And the other half are like, and that's why my wife left me. Anyway, what's up with y'all? There were two professors like this in my department, and I was one of like 20 people who was taught by both of them. So there was a very small gang of us who knew that Professor Brickwall and Professor Overshare were married with two kids. Makers of Grow Your Own Human Steaks say meal kit is not technically cannibalism. Grow your own human steaks. Do you think the top part of a mermaid also tastes like fish? Or that it would actually be red meat? Would there be a solid line where the meat changes in their body, or do you think it would blend? Could you make a surf and turf platter with one carcass? Man, I don't know, but I'm hungry now. Birds are just named stuff like hot-breasted milf and no one does anything about it. Well, can you come up with a better name for a bird that looks like it deserves to be called a hot-breasted milf? Think about it, Chris. My days are made up of Zoom meetings and playing dress-up. And your Bangladeshi workers' days are made up of starving and working 18-hour shifts for no money, you disgusting recycled glorified milk carton. This reopens the age-old Pokémon debate. Is it ethical to catch a Mr. Mime? Is Mr. Mime just a guy? Something about Ash's mom forcing Mr. Mime to sit on the floor and eat out of a dog bowl makes me uneasy. Mewtwo was right. Mr. Mime has a humiliation fetish, and Ash's mom totally doms him. Hey, uh, please don't type those words ever again. Thanks! Yo, Canada, quick question. Why your money see-through? So we can shine a laser pointer through the window and see the value amount projected afar as added protection from forgeries. Yo, USA, why the hell are we still using fragile scraps of linen like animals when we could have laser show dollars instead? Not to mention, I'm pretty sure they still smell like maple syrup. Joker is probably one of the movies ever made. Oh, it's definitely one of the movies ever made. Muppets have front-facing eyes and are therefore predators. I don't like to imagine Kermit stalking me in the woods. This is some old shit. <laughs> I can't believe deported veterans is an actual phrase. It shouldn't be. It really, really, really shouldn't be. But here we are. So fucking sad. We really devolved as a society when we stopped using fully painted pictures on romance novels and started using cheap Photoshop instead. Case in point. Aw, oh, what a downgrade. This is a hell of a downgrade. See, that's what I said. Worst crime capitalism ever committed was eliminating horny oil painter as a viable career option. Bitches be like, oopsies, and then blame it on their zodiac sign like, oh, sorry, I'm an asparagus. Watching Pawn Stars, and this guy came into the shop selling 50 rare Pez dispensers, and when they offered him $1,000, he stormed out with his dispensers, and in his parking lot interview, he called their offer a slap in the face to the Pez community. $1,000 for Pez dispensers? There's no way they offered him a grand for those, right? I would've given him like 12 bucks. Excuse me, do you know how to get to the, thank you, directions? Comics then, funny cat loves lasagna and hates Mondays. Comics now, pigeon experience is a microaggression. A single Sour Patch Kid would kill a pilgrim instantly. Oh my god, it would be way too much flavor for someone back in those days, dude. Hell, a McDonald's cheeseburger would probably give someone back then a heart attack. Not because it's unhealthy, but because, wow, it tastes! Someone in my Norwegian class didn't know the word for cowboys, so he called them American Horse Pirates, and I've been laughing about it for about an hour. I actually prefer that term to cowboys. Cowboys is boring and too vanilla. What the hell is LGBTQ+, is it like premium gay? No, 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 it's the new streaming service on the market. I love Lagomorphs because on one side you have sweet round boys, and on the other side you have feral wilderness prophets who've gone mad with the knowledge of the universe. Lanky, though. My freshman roommate would leave the dorm at 2 in the morning and come back around 4. Thought she was chilling with a boy or something. Turns out, that's the prime time to watch raccoons at the pond near the- oh, for God's sake. 
Herders spraying reflective paint on their reindeer's antlers to avoid road accidents leads to absolute surreal and scary pictures. I see nothing scary about this majestic and delightful rave reindeer. This Senate hearing looks like the tale of a marooned lighthouse keeper and the robot butler he built to stave off loneliness. Those two are definite opposites to the spectrum. What is it about being a billionaire that makes you go absolutely whack-ass with how you present yourself? I mean, to be fair, Dorsey looks a lot more normal than the robot boy over there, but still. About five years ago, I worked in a restaurant and Ludacris came in, ordered spring rolls, and sent them back. When I apologized, he said, don't apologize, spring rolls are unpredictable. I think about this at least once a week to this day. I just noticed something. Astrum, star, nata, sailor. Astronaut literally means star sailor. How cute is that? Neil Armstrong is sailor moon confirmed. Source, butterfox. Whatever. I'm in a really bad media diversity class where the professor was trying to make a point to us about stereotypes. So he was like, when you think of Frankenstein, you probably think of a big green monster, right? And then when everyone in class was immediately like, no, it's the scientist, he pretended he didn't hear us. Millennial culture is knowing Frankenstein is the scientist. <laughs> Idiot teacher. My dad's newest girlfriend introduced herself as Cinnamon with an S, and I've been calling her Cinnamons all afternoon, and she absolutely will not correct me. Sh guys, follow me for more stories about the seeking meat missile that is my dad. The global internet is being attacked by sharks, Google confirms. No headline will ever bring me as much joy as this. Wi-Fi goes out. Oh, those sharks again, I swear to God. Just had a child say, circumcise me, Captain. And his mom smacked him in the back of the head and said, I'm so sorry. I don't know where he heard that. I don't even know if he knows what that means. And I'm thinking about how kids are just walking shit post generators. <laughs> Shoot for the moon, stab for the stars, poison the sun, it's time to kill space. Space started it, let's finish it! Why are we still here, just to suffer? Every day I'm angry that a shrimp can see more colors than me, and will never understand what that's like, ever. Well, paint yourself yellow and move to Springfield because you're a f***ing simp, son! <laughs> oh, oh, that was good! Why is the divorce rate among socks so high? I don't know. Maybe check around in the nooks and crannies of your washer and dryer. They do tend to eat clothes, and they love socks the most. I grabbed this bullshit ass chorizo made of soy, and I thought it was saying, I am chorizo in Spanish. Ouch. I really need someone who understand me. Someone please eat my brain spaghetti. Women get to smell like real things, vanilla and lavender, but men have to smell like concepts. What the fuck is a cool sport rush? Introducing the all new Axe Sense. Black, ice, motor oil, dog. Dropping a sewing needle is like a cross between Where's Waldo and The Floor is Lava, except if you don't find Waldo, he's gonna stab ya. I always thought he was gonna do that anyway. Have you seen that guy? With plastic being banned, Starbucks is running out of things to put drinks in. A year from now, they're gonna scream my name and I'll have to drink my caramelized latte straight from the barista's cupped hands while another employee strokes my head like a scared horse. Look, I'll do what I can to help lower my environmental impact, okay? If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Aladdin could have used a wish to end the monarchy that was preventing Jasmine from marrying him. Or he could have ended the systematic poverty that forced him to steal. But instead, he wished to be a fake prince of a fake land. He wished for big energy. My therapist, holy sh dude. Do you remember how loud computers used to be? Like you'd put a floppy in there and it would just freaking scream at you like a pterodactyl eating a corn cob. I do remember. It was actually quite a calming sound, believe it or not. Today I learned NASA's plan to dispose of corpses in space is to freeze them in the airlock and then violently shake the body with a robotic arm until it turns to space dust. Hashtag bad astronauts get put in the corpse wiggler. What the actual hell. Florida man who allegedly threatened family with Coldplay lyrics and standoff after SWAT promises him pizza. I mean, that's totally fair though. They would have gotten the same deal if they offered him a Snickers, you know what I mean? Men's deodorant is superior. There. I I said it. I'd rather smell like icy fuckboy than lavender armpit sweat because women's deodorant doesn't last more than 15 minutes. I mean, ours doesn't either. You just get used to the smells you put on yourself every day. 
I drowned myself in Axe this morning. I can't smell it! Imagine being blind and masturbating to the sound of porn only to find out that it was just women's tennis. I don't think that's really a problem, dude. Say yes to masks and no to bras. Free to titty, protect a city! Is there anyone even named Sheldon in real life? My class turtle from sixth grade? That's a turtle. When God sings with his creations, will a turtle not be part of the choir? Wow, that's really making me think, though. No PS5 today because the gaming PC I built leaves it in the dust. Y'all be like the vegans of gaming. You just won't shut the fuck up about your preference despite no one caring. That is a really long way to say didn't ask. Elmo knows better than to question a man who just tore off half of his friend's head just to wear it as a hat. There's no place for weakness on the Sesame Street. A German man just came into the pub and tried to ask for cutlery, but ended up saying, I need some food weapons, and I will now be referring to them by nothing else. I'm so old, I remember when mainstream Republicans were basically reasonable people with differing views on economics and not a festering f tangle of seditious democracy-hating treason weasels. Well, lucky you, you got to see them when they were freaking normal. God. Leaving a watermelon on someone's doorstep in the middle of the night is a pretty inexpensive way to occupy a portion of their mind eh, forever. Be the inexplicable phenomena you wish to see in the world. It's just like that guy that had a TV on his head that would leave old CRTs on people's porches in his neighborhood for a little while. Be the phenomena you wish to see in the world. Simple as that, folks. Jeff Bezos looks like the kind of guy Jeff Bezos would beat up. I genuinely don't know what in the world that could possibly mean, I'm sorry. A girl was born with a harmonica instead of vocal cords. And when she cried, it filled the room with a melody so sweet. Make her cry more, the villagers would shout. Throw trash at her and let's jig, baby. <laughs> I'm not making that noise. I'm not doing it. <laughs> no. I just love fall. Bathing in pumpkin spice latte, eating crunchy leaves, wearing sweaters knitted from the hair of my neighbors. Hard to pick a favorite, really. I was thinking of, it was the neighbor's one. What were you thinking? When hamsters are born, they see a silver thread that connects them to their gruesome and peculiar death, and they follow it like soldiers marching to war. Towards what? <laughs> no, really, that is that is true. Hamsters are really strange, but I don't think it's completely their fault. You know, I've learned a lot about them recently, and a lot of people that have them genuinely don't take care of them at all. No, putting them in a tiny little friggin' cage you got from PetSmart is not taking care of them. How many lows would Rob Lowe rob if Rob Lowe did Rob Lowe's? I don't know, I think he's a really nice guy. I don't think he'd rob Lowe's at all. Check out this awesome snake costume my wife made for our daughter. This is so scary. I would not only give her candy, but also my car, my house, and maybe my family members as a ritual sacrifice. It's not that scary, man, come on. It's cool, but it's not that scary. Why is she called Dora the Explorer? All she does is read a map. What's there to explore? She's exploring the moral implications of granting sentience to inanimate objects. Also, explorers use maps. <laughs> Um, I would say most explorers use maps, yeah. But then you get Lewis and Clark type crap where... Wait, did they... I thought they were sent up there to map the area. You know? Like, bare bones explorers. Those are the explorers that are out there raw dogging it, you know what I mean? Every time I drink milk, I remember my roommate who used to put powdered milk in his milk so he could drink more milk per milk. As a person who finally had his lactose intolerance catch up with him. <laughs> this sounds like a great way to commit accidental suicide. <laughs> I may be hard, but not because I stopped pouring milk on my webkins. What? You... <laughs> you... what? Why is the guy drawn to run in a direction opposite to the arrow? Clearly, you have to moonwalk into the toilet and find the... Oh, to find the emergency exit. I thought it was gonna be a, and you have to find it afterwards, I guess. I guess egg on my face this time around, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you, you get it. Oh. Your future sex robot could be hacked and programmed to murder you. Sounds like a lot more work than just asking my girlfriend to murder me. I feel like being asked enough times, she probably would do it. Teen horse girl movie where the horse dies an hour in and the second half is the girl learning occult science to reanimate it so she can win the big derby. Necroprancer. Tagline, you can't beat this dead horse, but I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find that horse, and I'm gonna beat its ass. Oh, no. Freedom wall. Why does this sound terrible? All right. 
To the couple I accidentally walked in on, doing the gawk gawk vacuum seal double hand twisty ushy gushy sloppy gorilla grip fade tsunami salt taker combo 3000 <gasps> at the third floor Henry whatever blind spot, I'm sorry I didn't mean it. I was just checking if the, the what spot people were talking about was real. Oh, I see. Sure enough, I walked in on you guys. <laughs> Side note, if you're gonna do oral, be careful. I saw that she had braces on. Wow, you got close enough to see that she had braces on? Damn. Okay. Also, maybe don't go to the blowjob spot if you think that the blowjob spot is real. Because, you know, people might be doing blowjob stuff there. After that meal, that dude's farts could probably damage the ozone. <laughs> this is one of those comments I don't want context for. I don't care. No, thank you. Goodbye. Several days ago, a co-worker told me his daughter's name is Ray, not because of Star Wars, which he was very adamant about. Yesterday, I found out it's because her name is actually Ray, and it is because of Evangelion. Whoo, wearing the clown shoes, but insisting it's because he's joining the circus, not because he's performing at birthday parties. It's because of Evangelion. No, oh, no, no, no. Stop. Don't do that. No, knock it off. Stop. Stop it. N st stop. Stop. Princess Diana really saved the gene pool in this family. Yeah, and that Windsor gene kicked in and peeled his hairline back like a banana. Yeah, those guys lost their hair hardcore. I mean, his just disappeared. I don't know why he doesn't just go completely clean bald at this point. He'd look better. I mean, I think he would, genuinely. I don't know about his brother. It looks like his brother's starting to lose that hair, too. Ah, uh, yes, the observation deck. Yeah, call me old-fashioned, but I still prefer about three inches of water while scrutinizing a questionable sewer pickle. First time I've ever heard that, and I'm old. Stealing. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty sure that makes you a turd burglar. Oh, no, that that makes sense. Okay, now I get it. It's our heritage. Pokemon Go has lasted longer than the Confederacy did, and with three times the Americans behind it. You're lucky they only took the statues down instead of replacing them with Pikachus. Wait, was replacing them with Pikachus an option? Was replacing them with Pokemon in general an option? Because I would have voted for that in a heartbeat, okay? I'm proud to identify as a morosexual. I'm attracted to dumbasses and dumbasses exclusively. A guy asked me what the Spanish word for tortilla was once, and now I dream of kissing him under the moonlight. This same idiot. What kind of animal is the Pink Panther? Me, already taking off my clothes? Benjamin, you're so f stupid. <laughs> this is what I've relied on my entire life, okay? If you're stupid enough, some people might really like you. Very impressive, but it does sound like a panicky mosquito trapped inside an active bagpipe. <laughs> okay, no. This one I need the context for. I want to hear it. Man! The best part of plant-based diets is the incredible smelly gas it gives you. I'm always loaded for quick revenge. I don't like it when people refer to themselves as locked and loaded in that particular context. I mean, I don't like it anyway, but like that? I really don't like it. The pet poison control line is playing me their podcast while I'm on hold. Send help. What? No, I'm with that guy. What? They're playing you a podcast? And the pet poison control line? What? I think you're going to regret feeding me beans. LOL. I was having a rootin' tootin' good time last night. I gassed myself awake at 2.30 and had to crack a window. The poor neighborhood. What beans were those? Were they accidentally radioactive and you didn't mention that to the person? Kanye West tried to intimidate Adidas executives by showing them porn. A disturbing clip from this new 30-minute documentary last week. Oh, from his new 30-minute, I can't read anymore. He... what? That guy definitely needs some serious help. I have a much better relationship with public bathrooms now. D good for you, I guess. D uh, uh... It is a bit hilarious that humans rapidly evolved these massive brains only to become the first species to go extinct due to stupidity. Hey, that we know of, right? <laughs> right? I'll say, come on. The bigger the brain doesn't necessarily mean the smarter you are, right? I've got a huge brain. I'm stupid. Our boss just banned overly specific nicknames and the <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, uh, I forgot how to breathe properly for a moment. Let me try that again. Our boss just banned overly specific nicknames and the whole office is staring at Rat Snitch Brian, the good time ruiner. Well, you know it was him. Sometimes I just take a look at my bones moving in real time. Well, uh, 
Thanks for that image. Halloween was a little while ago now. Hell, it was a whole month ago, man! What's something you think our parents' generation got right, but we're failing at? Stereos. They used to have a big cabinet-sized sets with wood paneling and two speakers that looked like they were stolen from a dance hall. We got an egg that's recording our conversations for the police. An egg? I don't have an egg. We don't do eggs in this house. Although you are right, they definitely got the stereo thing right. I got one of those. It's awesome, man. Hudson Mohawk? Even removed from the context of that cursed Reddit story, this song still sounds freaking hilarious. It's like depressed clown EDM. I'm going to need to take a listen to this right now. A few moments later. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to go listen to it. I have heard it before, I just never knew what it was called. <laughs> oh man, I cannot believe the next hit EDM artist is a fucking balloon with a smiley face drawn on it with Sharpie. <laughs> Sushi is down more than 10% today, as Sushi Sushi Swap's new CEO allegedly had inappropriate relations with a horse. Alrighty then, uh, I don't like sushi anymore. It's a long and stupid story that I'm not going into here, but basically, Rob taking so much piss, nobody in London needed to go to the toilet for a month. Oh, I, I no, I gotcha, I gotcha, I, uh, I think you're absolutely fine. I was once on a train with my mom at about eight years old, and a woman near us opened up a Tupperware of what I can only assume was rotten goblin assholes. I, sh <laughs> I kid you not, people were gagging, and several people just got up and walked out of the carriage. <laughs> Ever since then, whenever someone eats on a train, I'm taken back to that fateful day and feel genuinely thankful if I get a whiff of what they're eating and it doesn't smell like goblin ass. I might be an edge case, though. <laughs> you might be, maybe. Guys would be more sympathetic to menstruation pain if the nut goblin visited on cue every month and chewed on their sack for a week. Well, yeah, the n wait a minute. I'm not the only person who has to deal with the nut goblin every month, right? Other people do too, right? I swear to God, I'm gonna start screaming and kicking things. You'd be better off sandpapering a lion's ass and a pair of pork chop panties than be caught on the other side of this fence. <laughs> You're a tough guy. <laughs> I'm going to get you. What weird thing would you make socially acceptable if you could? Eating alone in small cities. I used to live in New York City and ate alone all the time. No one ever noticed or cared. I moved to a small beach city. People react to me dining alone as if I were naked and eating a live animal's entrails with my bare hands while screaming the lyrics to the Klondike Bar ice cream commercial. That's because they just don't know how to mind their own dang business. You know, it's that simple. I was waiting for the timer to pop up. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing wrong with eating alone. There's no, no, you can't, no, no, you shut up. You shut up, you stupid clock. Want to hear a stupid ass sentence? Either way, I'm going to circumcise myself with a katana. All right, so it sounds like a 14 year old got a hold of Discord and doesn't understand humor just yet. <laughs> so funny. Do you wear a trilby by any chance? I heard that Woodrow Wilson's lap to I heard that Woodrow Wilson's laptop that he kept at a Walmart with no locks on the doors had all sorts of classified nuclear crap on it. You're right. This is a proven fact. I learned about it in high school. This guy's got gray hair. Is he balding or something? Interaction bait Twitter. But you want people to like your pinned tweet of Goku with a Costco family-sized vagina. Interaction Twitter is really scraping content out of the least revealing trailer ever made. Okay. Fine. That is a huge vagina, though, I have to say. International Piss Award. Pee came out fast. Skeleton screwed up my naked husband. An evening of lovemaking turns into grave digging when jealous skeletons show up and beat a man to death for trying to nut on a full moon by Herman Filth. I'd read that. I'd read that in a freaking heartbeat, man. Skeleton screwed up my naked husband. Is this a series? Because I've been looking for a good series to get into. I never thought about how you don't really use food descriptors for white people. Her marshmallow skin glowed in the afternoon sun. His hot tamale colored hair curled down his cheeks. Yeah, maybe let's leave food on the dinner table. His mayonnaise skin gleamed like the grease in an unclean skillet. No, I kind of like these descriptors. 
knowing how white I am, though, it's going to get real mean real fast. Like, it'll start off in good faith, you know, good fun, whatever, but it'll devolve immediately into trying to get me to drive off a cliff. And you know what? That's why... I don't like the descriptors anymore. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm pulling a full 180 on this bitch. I'm sorry, but I can't let this pass. A guy who's only eaten Sloppy Joes for eight days and keeps saying it's Sloptober. I feel like we all know at least one guy. At least one guy that's like this. Not exactly Sloptober, but, you know, he celebrates his own month of something, right? He's that guy. He's the guy who's got his own month. Chuck is a bitch. I wish I could really smack the piss out of his electrophobic ass from Better Call Saul. Okay, I've only seen one episode of the show. The first one. I wasn't hooked. I know it's a good show. I can understand that. I just don't care. I don't know who Chuck is, and I don't understand electrophobic ass. Is there someone in the show who's afraid of electricity? Or does electrophobic mean something that I'm not aware of? Something a little more mm, weird. What do you think? Because I don't know. Ask Zach. He's watched some Better Call Saul. I watched Eureka over and over and over again and get sad. This is why he want to make everyone super smart. Even Sir Isaac Newton was a firm believer in God. Would he not be considered super smart? Newton died a virgin, so he clearly wasn't smart enough to use his understanding of gravity to pull some b****. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... That's probably correct. Diet Coke smells like earwax. Why do you gotta try to ruin any- Why you guys gotta, gotta ruin everything? Stop it. Stop. Okay? I'm not some Diet Coke fanboy or something, but I prefer it to regular Coke. Yeah, that's right. I, I like watching my figure. Okay? You gotta ruin everything. The shock hits me in the face like a cold splash of what the hell. That's every morning. That's every morning, man. God created sex to be enjoyed in a marriage covenant between a husband and a wife. Yeah, nah, I'm not about to arrange my life around some cherry-picked stories handed down by a bunch of Bronze Age goat herders who didn't know where the sun went at night. If you want to live that way, it's your choice, but leave the rest of us out of it. Yeah, between a husband and a wife. Anybody can call themselves a husband, and anybody can call themselves a wife. So thank you for opening that gate, Kristen. Thank you so much. Also, uh, by your beliefs, I don't think God created sex as something to be enjoyed. I thought he created sex just so we could make more of ourselves, you know? It's our built-in cloning utility, except it doesn't really clone so much as make a crappier version of ourselves. You know, you know what I'm saying? Kristen, Kristen, do you understand? Kristen, do you, do you get it? After ordering a sandwich to go, the guy asked me if I wanted some walking bacon. This was three strips of bacon separate from the sandwich for me to eat while I walked away with the wrapped sandwich in my other hand. This is genius. All stores need walking bacon. Can you imagine how much better your trip to Target would be if they handed you three strips of bacon as you walked in? I don't even really like bacon at all anymore in my, well, incredibly old day. I'm ancient. I'm 26 years old. I've only got a few more years to live. So, you know, I've been around the block once. Uh, yeah, uh, this would be amazing. The public transport fantasy isn't about efficient transportation. It's about limiting human agency and being made to cede any remaining scrap of sovereignty to an expert class of bike lane communist grass bagging hippie d sucks. Or public transportation is awesome and we have to stop making everything about cars. Reporter wears grape costume to defend boy suspended for a banana suit. Real recognizes real. Ain't that the friggin' truth, though? He should try SCP-4820. Regenerative Filipino man. As his infinite burger machine. Because he's fine with being eaten and probably supports the idea. But isn't it actually very unsafe for us humans to consume human meat? Approximately five kilos of Ingle White cheddar, a kilo and a half of good Stilton, and a relative sliver of Cornish yard looming in my fridge. Prospective freshness dangling like the sword of... What? Huh? Why is tamales pronounced tamales, but females is pronounced females instead of famales? No, I'm with Steph on this one. I think we need to change the rules around. Maybe a controversial take, but car headlights are too bright these days. Every single SUV is equipped with, like, military-grade halogen retina destroyers. Jeep Grand Cherokee driving around with the 911 memorial spotlights on the front. Lighthouse-ass Chevy Tahoes. Grow up. 
Well, it's mainly because people replace those lights and then forget they need to f***ing aim them. The architects of the internet were almost certainly cantaloupe. What? Is this true? Huh? I'm going to make a new font called Times New Bad. It's Times New Roman, but every seventh letter is jarringly sans serif. With one line, you've activated every bone in my body, and all of them are in attack mode. Now that is... that is gross. Cow's milk is back. Hot girls are ditching the alternatives and are going back to basics. I can tell you this because I make coffee three mornings out of the week in Manhattan on an hourly dime. Yes, let's all drink cow mucus, yum yum. Enjoy your cow titty hormone juice. I wish I could. My guts don't like it anymore. Either this is a coincidence, or Toby's playing 4D chess while juggling burning chainsaws using only his head. What? Adam Driver playing Enzo Ferrari looks like Tony Hawk playing Anderson Cooper. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Elon Musk is an agitator and contrarian. He's the personification of a 4chan neckbeard's wank sock gaining sentience. Thank you! <laughs> New message from, uh, uh, someone. Not you stealing my drink, you broke bitch. that's why this is your full-time job. Buy your own shit, you fat door-dashing door scallywag. <laughs> Who the hell uses the term scallywag? That's awesome. That's awesome. Also, how do you know they stole your drink? Maybe they fucking forgot it, psychopath. Chess Grandmaster accused of cheating has his butt scanned before the game. All right, uh, denied rumors he used a sex toy to defeat the world champion. Okay, uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. The best part of this image isn't the guy scanning his ass. It's all the people that are very amused by this situation. <laughs> very amused. Was it ever proven that he used a sex toy to beat somebody? Was it? I, I don't think so, right? It does say rumors, so I would assume no. And look, 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 listen, look, listen. If you're gonna cheat, that's a lot more effort than anybody else has had to go through for that, okay? Maybe just let him have this one. Look at what he went through for that victory. <laughs> he has that sadness in his eyes that you only see in Eastern European gay <laughs> You know? Uh, I, after all those years watching him on Shameless, I always wondered a good way to describe him. This is the best way to describe this man. That's all right. I'm an alpha male. No, you're not. You're an ass that thinks talking over people makes you important. Do you even know what an alpha does? They feed and protect their pack. Where's your fanny pack full of cheesy crackers, Steve? If you are out with your buds and you don't have ibuprofen, neosporin, and cheesy crackers with you, you're not an alpha. <laughs> Isn't it great that alphas aren't real at all? The intersecting needs of Christian children's cartoons to make all biblical figures both painfully average looking white people People, and, as unsexualized as possible, creates a hellish world where all of humanity is descended from two John Arbuckles. Ooh, I do not like that. Can't believe that pioneer women used to have to churn butter for hours without even listening to a podcast about Bigfoot. Historically, when performing long, repetitive tasks like churning butter or weaving cloth, people would sit together and tell stories. Folk stories, fairy tales, and even stories about mysterious ape-like figures living in the forests. So yes, pioneer women did listen to podcasts about Bigfoot while churning butter. Well, I guess that makes me feel better. Uh, I don't mind paying 10 or $15 for a book because I know the author likely spent five years staring at a screen and panic yelling, I'm a fraud, I have no idea what I'm doing, and they're now entitled to compensation. Damn straight. Americans be like, hello, my name is Richard, call me Dick. British people be like, jubilant salutations acquaintance, it is I, Sir Bumble Henry Knockin Tooth and Hooten Richard Baker. It is my humble request for you to refer to me as testicles. Why are vampires always wealthy in movies? Like, how do they make a living? If you've been alive since 1892 and still broke, just step into the sun. The word daddy has been so sexualized that my kids are gonna have to call me bruh or some sh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Starting a job feels like you're a new character on the ninth season of a TV show. Yeah, never gets any easier. Found something new to say when I leave the room. Hey, there it is. Everyone's favorite goodbye. Stay fresh, cheese bags. It's crazy that they only figured out tectonic plates in the 60s. A child in the 50s would say, it seems like South America and Africa would fit together. And his mom would go, that's cute, honey. Would you like a cigarette? Ah, <laughs> uh, the 50s. Archers and flanking cavalry. Come on, man. Do you even command a legion? How do you even stop this? I mean, seriously. Yeah, what that dude said. 
flank with cavalry, and shoot them. If you're bored, you can simply close your eyes and rotate a cow in your mind. It's free, and the cops can't stop you. It is free, and it is not illegal. A guy walking with one crowbar is more suspicious than a guy walking around with three crowbars. But if he's carrying a hundred crowbars, it's also suspicious. So there's a certain crowbar to suspicion ratio here. Hmm. You've got a point. Can you do the math for us? What insect is this? It makes a screeching sound day and night, found around these coordinates. Why did they dox the cicada? Because they're loud as sh <laughs> Elon Musk is a 50-year-old man with more money than God, and he spends his time spamming 9-gag memes on Twitter because he got dumped by a girl that looks like she would shoplift plastic bongs <laughs> from Spencer's. He has the same origin story as Knuckles the Echidna and refuses to pay taxes. And when he gets called out for it, he'll pull some stunt like, if the government can give me a detailed plan of what they'll use the money for by 420, I'll sell 69 shares of Tesla stock. Like, he's the smosh version of the Joker. And he'll probably get away with taking over Mars because that weird dude you know who hasn't upgraded his personality since 2011 and talks about the Death Star having contractors on it when it blew up like it was a real event will see this <laughs> go, epic win. Garlic is to cooking as vanilla extract is to baking, and that the amount I add to my food is guided by reckless extravagance and utter disregard, verging on mild contempt for the recipe as written. Wow, that was the smartest looking post I've ever read. I'm watching Longmire again. Forgot every episode, so it's just like watching it for the first time. LOL, that how movies I watch between 2007 and 2009 feel to me. Wait until to have a stroke. It's awesome. LOL. Might have to just post a screenshot on it. Wait, what? What's that? A subreddit for posting sentences you've never seen before. Wait until to have a stroke. It's awesome. Make me famous. Wait until to have a stroke. All right. People protesting for Disneyland to open so they can walk around in the blazing sun for seven hours, to go on three rides, then have the worst family fight in years and silently drive home? I go by myself, because I actually like to enjoy myself while I'm there. Because going with families is <laughs> stupid. I can fix him. No, you can't. The chemicals that make you want a baby are mixing with the decades of microplastics in your brain. Please don't try this. Guys, the history of marathons is kind of whack. A guy in ancient Greece died after running 26 miles, and what do we do to honor him? We run 26 miles and not die. People decided to just flex on him for the rest of eternity? If anyone pulls something like that on me, it's instant hands. Well, you'd be dead, so... It's ridiculous when someone tells me, aren't there more important things to be mad about? You novice, you freaking rube, you <laughs> idiot. I can be mad about 20,000 things at once. I am a walking chimera of various furies and petty qualms. Rolling my eyes so far back in my head that I make direct eye contact with the goblin that operates me like a marionette. <laughs> what is this in response to? My grandfather, whose favorite hobby is reminding me of how rude and entitled my generation is, just called the kid working the counter at Baskin Robbins a limped dick jabroni because they ran out of rainbow sprinkles. Yeah. They're the most fragile mother <laughs> generation in human history, as far as I can tell. <laughs> oh, the kids dancing on TikTok are cringe? Oh, man, why don't you grow the <laughs> and mind your own business? Remember, that's the generation that preaches being nice and having manners, and then every Sunday after church, they go to IHOP so they can verbally abuse a <laughs> waitress and stiff her on a tip. The dopest thing about horses is that they're basically grass engines. Like, grass goes in, fast comes out. Most things that produce fast, like cheetahs and cars, use much more heavily processed grass, like horses and oil. And yet, here horses are producing the fast with only the grass. Are you okay? Christian girls be like, there's no one else on the planet like this man. God broke the mold when he made you. And it's just Connor, human equivalent of a Honda Accord whose favorite food is toast and thinks taking off your bra is adequate foreplay. <laughs> he probably also thinks the Olive Garden is fancy. New dating app idea called 7.5. Five. Only for people who are like a strong seven or an eight on a good day. Who look kind of athletic, but would probably die if they had to run a mile. Have depression, but the kind that makes you funny. Cars check, engine light is on. No one else is allowed. 7.5. Can you lower it just a little bit for the rest of us common folk, though? Make it like four to six? Yeah, call the app four to six. I think that works out a little bit better. 
Thinking about in the seventh grade when I got escorted to the police station after school because they found out I was prank calling local businesses as Ricky Pee Pee. And when I walked in, the officer who was waiting there with my mom to talk to me said, if it isn't Ricky Pee Pee. I fail to see how this is even remotely a problem. That's badass, dude. You got a legacy. My brother used to think that a man sat under the escalators and operated them. He also thought that man's name was James and that was his real dad, not our dad. So every time we passed the escalators at the mall, my brother would scream at our dad, you're not my real dad, James is my real dad. <laughs> what the f- Hmm, <laughs> let's see here. There are face mites which live inside your pores next to your hair follicles, eat your sebum, uh, don't have anuses, and come out at night to mate on your skin. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm so sorry. This is why you need to clean your bedding more often than you think. Me, pre-kids. I'm never gonna lie to my kids, ever. Me with the kids. I just got off the phone with Santa, the firefighter dog from Paw Patrol, and the Green Power Ranger, and they all agree. If you don't put your shoes on, they're gonna have to put down another unicorn. Well, wait, no, I'll, I'll put I'll put him on, I'm sorry. Nicole, 27. I'm looking for a guy who's really trusting and healthy. You must have both kidneys, non-smoker, and not be a big drinker or take any drugs that could damage the liver. Typo negative blood is a plus. Hey, wait a minute. Thank God I don't have a girlfriend this Christmas. I'd be on the Amazon homepage crying and throwing up figuring out how to spell lingerie. <laughs> It's only physics if it's from the physique region of France. Otherwise, it's just sparkling math. I asked my Gentile boyfriend to explain the point of advent calendars to me, and he said, it's for kids to microdose Christmas. Watch a woman tell her husband she's pregnant while Conan O'Brien pours good milk down the sink. <laughs> I love you, Conan. My roommate really just said he about to last a total of three minutes. Hello, most amazing awesome roommate ever. Sup? I have a favor, I assumed. What do you need? I have a chick sliding through tomorrow and we're gonna f <laughs> She's mad loud and I'm hoping you won't be home around the hours of 9 to 9.03 p.m. Well, at least they're honest. I once heard Ska described as what plays in a 13-year-old kid's head when he gets extra mozzarella sticks, and nothing in this world is more accurate. Owning an old home is great because you get to fix 60-year-old prior repairs. Oh, you want to change that light fixture? In 1957, some dude named Dick hotwired the current fixture and instead of using a junction box, just nailed it all to a joist and filled the cavity with asbestos. <laughs> okay, when you forget to shake the bottle and ruin your food with that ketchup pre-cum. Well, f <laughs> At my university, I have a part-time job where my sole responsibility is filling up the piano humidity Identification systems with water. I literally am a piano waterer, and to be honest, I kind of feel like I'm thriving. I feel like I need to add that I carry around this water jug that kind of looks like a regular watering can, and when people ask me what I'm doing, I just say watering the pianos and walk away. <laughs> I bet everybody loves that joke all day long, every day. My friend is dating a guy named Blaine, and I accidentally called him Blaze, which was her ex's name, and she got really mad at me as if it's my fault that she exclusively dates guys who sound like Pokemon gym trainers. Are you living, or are you just jumping from one obsession to another to run away from yourself? What? Are you the coping mechanism police or something? Why don't you mind your own business? The cost to operate this printer each month is the equivalent to 4,000 Taco Bell tacos, 1,000 gallons of gas, or 42 tickets to Disney World. Think before you ink. A student wants you to know. With my tuition, I could pay for 41,460 Taco Bell tacos, 10,365 gallons of gas, or 465 tickets to Disney World. With this, times 5,200 students, I should be able to print whatever the hell I want. So think before you talk down to us like we're <laughs> peasants, when we're the whole reason this school exists in the first place. Sorry, that thing has always infuriated me. Real or not, it's just despicable and they can go f*** themselves. 50 years ago, if you wanted to see a picture of a raccoon, you either had to already have it or drive to a library. And a raccoon in a funny hat? Forget about it. This is the future. The future is now. What if nipples clicked in and out like pens? I mean, I don't know. Trying to find nice loafers and my girlfriend laughed at me for checking Reddit, saying that the guys there wouldn't know. Now, on an 800 post thread where dudes are berating each other about leather quality, they know so much about loafers it ruined their life. 
I'm on the right site. When we were at Costco earlier, James was crushing right along and I told him to slow down. And he was like, we're only here for three things. And a sea of dads just erupted in laughter and said, oh buddy, that's what you think. Just lit him the <laughs> up. The Costco dads are absolutely relentless. I'm more of a target dad myself. Another wooden ball. Would it kill the makers of avocados to include a different toy, like a mood ring or a novelty eraser? I know that adults do multiple loads of laundry for different colored clothes, but I've been putting all my clothes in at the same time, and I'm just saying, nothing bad has happened. Modern laundry sauce doesn't cause color leaching like old laundry sauce did. Call it something else. Clothes marinade. Yeah, I have never once split up any of my laundry. I wash them all on tap cold, and I don't use fabric softener. Why? Because you don't need to, man! You can take one man's trash to another man's treasure, but you can't make it drink. Fun fact, the blending of idioms or cliches is called a malaphore. My personal favorite is, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. I'm rather fond of, it's not rocket surgery, and not the sharpest egg in the attic, but my all-time favorite is, until the cows freeze over. You've opened this can of worms, now lie in it! It's easy to have the courage of a lion. They're gigantic and have claws and no natural predators. Have the courage of a guinea pig, a two pound meat potato with zero offensive or defensive abilities that will scream at an ape a hundred times its size if their lettuce is too wilty. When I was 10 or so, I was deathly afraid of vampires. So I stole the garlic powder from my mom's spice cabinet and kept it in my coat pocket. And if I was out at night with my parents and thought someone was acting really sus, I'd try to surreptitiously sprinkle a little garlic powder on them. Like, imagine a weird little girl deciding you failed her vibe check and promptly seasoning you. Hey man, dating a skinny guy is cool until you roll down the window on the freeway and he fly out like a McDonald's napkin. <laughs> Oh no. From Pocket Camp, Sasha loves taking selfies. He makes the exact same face in every photo, but that doesn't stop him from taking about a hundred a day. The lazy personality. I love Sasha, but can y'all remember that other countries exist and Sasha isn't inherently a feminine name? In this episode of Questions That Have Never Been Asked Before, is this rabbit a genderqueer icon or just Slavic? Good question. Why does everyone say housewife or house husband when house spouse is not only gender neutral, but it rhymes. Wait, spouse rhymes with house? I always pronounced it spooze in my head. Why is your language so weird? Because English beats up other languages in dark alleys, then rifles through their pockets for loose grammar and spare vocabulary. <laughs> with English, there are no rules. Everything is a guideline in English, I swear to God. Ugh. OMG, you're so skinny, eat something. Eat my ass, Tamra. I just killed a whole pizza in six minutes. My metabolism is faster than these hands, but you can still order them if you like, huh? Do you ever wonder how many stories have been told about you? I don't mean rumors or gossip. A story like, one time I was at the mall and this girl dropped her hot dog, but she picked it up and ate it. What if I'm that girl? How many times have people seen me do something I thought no one saw, and is now being used as an icebreaker at a family dinner? Hmm? One time I was at this historical park in New York, and I was climbing a tree in order to get a good photo. And I fell out just as a family was walking past. Two years later, I ran into the mom at my stop and shop, and she gasped and said, Oh my god, tree girl? And I've never been the same since. Well, that's just legendary though, can you imagine that? <laughs> I really, really hope that someone out there has told weird stories about me from a weird event, right? I remember I ran a guy over on a bike once. I just couldn't stop in time because he kind of jumped out in front of me, and even though I was yelling at him, he didn't turn around in time, so I just kind of rolled up the back of his leg real quick. He was fine, but none too happy, obviously, <laughs> and I sure was embarrassed as hell. Also reminds me of the time I thought I was drowning as a kid, so I just climbed up some random guy. No, I'm serious. I was freaking the hell out in the water, floundering, and I just found the nearest thing I could, which was a random man I'd never seen before, and climbed up on him. <laughs> I bet that guy still tells stories about me to this day. The random kid that jumped on his back. <laughs> Pigs are known to be very smart animals, and now scientists have demonstrated that they're capable of playing video games. If I get trickshotted by someone, and on the mic, I hear oink oink, I'm making bacon. 
Good luck finding him. So I was just in the men's room pissing, and dude in the stall had explosive diarrhea. I, not being a robot, laughed, and the boomer two urinals down told me not to laugh. I said, bro, don't talk to me while my dick is in my hand, and explosive diarrhea guy laughed. Whole thing was just bizarre. It does sound like a pretty bizarre interaction. Hmm, let's say, hypothetically, someone got a Cheeto stuck up their ass, which totally didn't happen to me. How would they get the Cheeto out of their ass? Once again, this is of course all hypothetical. I don't know, go shit that out. You know what's cool? I'm a woman doing something only a woman can do, growing a baby inside of my body. Well, uh, congrats on being jizzed in? Imagine you were a whale, and you were breaking up with your whale girlfriend, and humans recorded your conversation and put it on Spotify to fall asleep to. That would be pretty f Oh, look at Sam Neill, General John MacArthur. If you were to commit a murder, how would you do it? It's gotta be big. No slipping something into someone's drink. That's just pathetic. I'd use a steamroller. Just leave a stain on the road. There's probably a couple of people I'd put under a steamroller, but I won't say who they are. Otherwise, when they see a steamroller coming their way, they'll be on full alert. And, you know, steamrollers don't go very fast. Well, ain't that the truth, Mr. Neil, director. Give me an expression that says, I just ate your butterfly collection and I have seven scented erasers in my ass, Willem Dafoe. Why are we making fun of Willem Dafoe, though? Come on, he's awesome, man. From Mississippi burning to Spider-Man, he is among the best of the best.